What is going on, guys? <laughs> My name is Roman, back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode podcast of the Weebs of the Round Table. I'm going to do some quick introductions. Today, we are going to be talking about the fall season, our first impressions, because fall season is pretty damn good. But today, I have with me, we have Memory. Yo, what's going on, guys? Happy to be back again. Yeah, and we got Ryusei. What's up, guys? I just, I just reached the... A... The 2000 uh, sub uh, mark, uh, so <laughs> me. Congrats. And, uh, congrats. Congrats. Glad to be here. Nice. And as always, we also got Oliver Smiley. Hey, guys. With that very hesitant. <laughs> and then, and then. You can't see him, but he's smiling. He, he is smiling. <laughs> and, of course, last but not least, we have Kawaii Crew. Ohio, oh my god, days. I can't believe that guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, so yeah, fall twenty eighteen has been pretty good, I must say. Thoroughly surprised, it is my reintroduction to reaction, so I am glad to be back in the reaction business, but what are you guys all watching? I know all of us have been watching Goblin Slayer, but what are other shows that you guys have been watching that m most people are like not really watching too much of? Or it's not like one of the big ones that are being talked about right now. So whoever wants to start it off, go ahead. <coughs> Release the spice. <coughs> Release? Wait, 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 wait. Is that a natural thing? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I am... I, I'm I tried I'm watching, watching that. It. I tried. I'm watching that, but yes. I'm, oh, man, I'm not try watching it more. I'm not covering it. I'm only I'm only here I'm only here for the Yuri fan service. That's what that's what I'm that's just what I wanted, but I'm not getting enough of it. Man, so many people are watching on uh, are sleeping on Lisa Spice. It's 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 disappointing. I'm disappointed. I'm looking at it right uh, now. No, it's not that I'm it's not that I'm totally I'm disappointed. I right just now. I just want my I just want my damn Yuri. Yuri fans, and we don't even. I mean, yeah, it's got, it's got, it's got Yuri undertone, but like, I don't like undertones. I want to see the kisses. That. Damn it! <laughs> I don't. Well, no, 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 I want to see the lewd. I want to see the lewdest thing possible. I want to see hand holding. My. <laughs> ah. <laughs> my, you show me hand holding, I, I will be a Maybe it was better we didn't hear it. I know. <laughs> this is a this is a PG podcast. <laughs> this is this a Christian podcast. Work for us. Get that just <laughs> edit it. Just edit that part with a beep and then we're fine. <laughs> then we're fine. What, you guys are never you guys don't agree with the hand holding aspect? Hand holding the handling aspects, we're just, and we're gonna I, don't even, the I don't even care about that anymore, man. <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. Age, age, age restricted. Isn't that another, <laughs> it's not another Yuri anime. Isn't there another Yuri anime this season as well called uh, Bloom into You or something Bloom like that? Yeah, that one. Oh, I'm watching that. Oh, yeah, I'm watching yeah, it. I'm it's watching. actually. It's actually pretty good. Like, th good. like I all really I wanted like going into it was like, okay, I just want a pure, like, you know, pure-hearted romance. No, like, extra shit like Citrus tried to do. I want at least <laughs> something like <about> Citrus. <laughs> and <laughs> Bloom to You definitely has been way better than Citrus, at least in my opinion. Oh, right? hell yeah. Way better. Yeah, because... Um, okay, so here's the problem with Citrus. They didn't go... They, Everything. They started... Or, they, started the, the, they didn't even try to develop... They didn't even try to develop. They they had these separate character arcs, which I really didn't like. Here, they're actually trying to to develop something because, and they're not yeah. trying to make it easy either. It was just like right, the relationship right. is not gonna go easy, and uh, we can kind of get a little bit of characterization. It's like Nanami does seem like the senpai, like the perfect, the ideal sort of you know figure that you know the other students would look up to, but in reality, she's pretty. You know, fra fragile, and she's like she's nervous, and you could see that when you when she was like, if you if you guys are updated with like she was she was in the room, she you can see how nervous she can get. Meanwhile, you is actually like, she's she's kind of like a not really something somebody that understands love that that much. Like like on the outside, like she is normal, but the, her expectations of of what love might feel like. And then versus what she feels, and she doesn't really understand it. And hopefully, yeah. like 
this this uh, relationship that she's that she's in right now, even if it's one sided, will help her slowly realize it. But there's going to be snags along the way, and the hope yeah. and uh, what I am looking at, like looking at right now is that there are uh, prominent other prominent characters involved, but it doesn't look like one where it's going to go to annoying character. Arcs. Yeah, like I don't think they're going to have like a like I don't even think they're going to have a love triangle. Honestly, like I I. I... Well, there possibly could be with like the Sayaka girl. Like, I don't know what they're going to do with her, honestly. Oh, yeah. Seems... Speaking, speaking yeah. of which, see, I'm with you. I, I was gonna say like um the boy Maki or whatever, who like is literally just taking a back seat and wants to watch yeah, how their exactly. relationship unfolds. Like, like there we like we know the, what like his man he should be like he should be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like should be we we know that he's taking like a back seat, but I'm wondering like, is Sayaka gonna like? you'll play that same kind of role. I think she's going to have a different role going forward, but because you can tell that she has a problem with like what's going on a little bit. Like she may put on like this fake face, like, Oh yeah, I'm going to do whatever she you know wants me to do or whatever. But I feel like deep down there's going to be, you know, they do something with her uh, in the future for it. Yeah. Bloom into you is like one of the, like one of the few Yuri anime where I actually like the, the the male character. Like, I didn't think he was getting in the way of the main relationship yeah. between the two characters. Like, yeah, I remember, I, agree, for sure. I, I remember, like, for, with with most Yuri anime, if I see a male character, I go, hiss! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm because they're usually really... always trying to, like, yeah. blackmail, like, blackmail the, the well, main couple or whatever. Like, exactly, like, yeah. going back to Citrus, like, sure, Citrus was bad, but there was something worse than Citrus that season. Matsuri. And I think Kraikou knows what it is. Wait, which one? Oh, NT. I remember that. Oh, oh my I mean, God. at least, oh at least it was only like six minutes long. <laughs> yeah, oh, that we, was, oh, that was whole, yeah. oh. <laughs> worse than Citrus. I mean, at least, I mean, at least, had, at least had enjoyment value, but yeah, it was pretty bad. I honestly think <laughs> Citrus is worse. Oh, uh, they're, they're, it's close. They're both pretty I don't know. Bad. Citrus was. <laughs> yeah, Citrus was yeah, Citrus wasn't really satisfying. Neither of them were really satisfying. But, but with Citrus was with just Ant dragged out, which made, which to me made Citrus just. Citrus was just ninety-five percent pointless drama. So, yeah. Citrus has now finished. Uh, the manga of Citrus. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Why? It's just like ninety percent, ninety percent of, ninety uh, percent of. Uh, who's that? Who's that girl again? Of her Mot just bitching Motsuri? out about it. No, 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 no. For uh, Citrus. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Matsuri's the girl with the headphones, right? Like uh, the pink haired girl? Is that who you're talking no, no, about, Kawhi? No, 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 no. I don't have no the the main problem I don't have is 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 her. I have a problem with you I have okay, yeah, it was Yuzu. Like I have a problem with her because she's hesit she's really like hesitant on it when, when she does when even when she does even when Maid wants to at least reciprocate it, it's just I didn't like how it played out. It was just the messy, the yeah, messy. Yeah, she was. She was dumb. Yeah, oh, man, it was. It was really frustrating. I don't think. Oh yeah, Bloom and You is way better than. <laughs> like oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really, it's, really satisfied. It's with... so refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, very refreshing, honestly. Um, so that's one that's... that not a lot of people are really talking about. It's. I, I wish more people. I wish more people. I've seen a fair amount of people talking about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we watch it, I just hope that it doesn't stay with undertones, because, I, I, I don't know, I, I'm not a fan of undertones, I, I want to see the action, damn it. <laughs> well, yeah, you I, mean, may, I, I feel mean, like Bloom and you will reach out. You may actually survive Princess Principle, so... That, there's, that's the difference, because that, that actually that's had different. action, that's and different. there was your undertones, but that was bo underneath all the action, because I see for the action and cute girls doing badass things, not just... Yeah, that that's that that could be the same. That could be the same could be said for Lisa Spice. Oh, okay. All At right. least the Spice reminds me of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey man, hey man. Uh, was... I wouldn't, I'm not sure about that. But... <laughs> it's like and it's like, like female that, just... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it's not 50 percent peak, but. <laughs> I don't know. It just wasn't really doing it for me. I don't know. Like it's not like bad, but like, I, I don't know. Okay, I will say this: if you like, I, action, I posted away, something. I posted a response in the chat. By the way, when Yuri, when Euro, you release the spice equals when Euro Yuri does it with TMNT. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Geez. No, I don't need that. 
That's I. Basically, uh, that's basically what it is. We're trying to okay. get people to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, be fair, to be fair, it is by the same like creator of your your, your same direct. Oh, I, I well, think that it is. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh yeah, the designs are actually the the character designs are actually similar. So I'll, I can get where they're going with that. Like I haven't I haven't really watched uh, that Yuri Yuri thing, but I've watched enough clips to know what to know what to expect. It's. It, 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 I, I can see the inspiration where where they I can see where they got it from. So, I'm I'm not gonna. So I can so I can see like how it connects. So I that's why I had to just drop that. <laughs> it's it it, it it is what it is. It, um, it is okay. Yeah, I will say this though. If you like action, moe, and your undertones, at least the spice is definitely up your alley. We're not gonna said, talk. We're not gonna talk about Tornari no Kukitsuki son. That one, Ooh. my that Miss that vampire, vampire one. Miss Vampire who lives in my neighborhood. Oh, um, oh, that that. I've heard I've heard mixed things on that. Um, that's well, that's not mixed things. Sorry, I haven't heard that much about that. It's a slice oh. of life. Yeah, I, I haven't heard anything. Well, I have seen <laughs> it. It's yeah. it's a that's... it's basically your typical sort of when you, yeah, when you just, it, just, it just kinda, it just kind of it just kind of like uh. When you make the, you know how you make zomb. It's something that I want to, I want to say like, uh, they just moify vampires, just so to speak. <laughs> that's what they basically okay. did here. It, it, that's like what it this shows in the first, the first time they did that. <laughs> so I was going right. to, I was going to wait until it finished airing before I watched it. So there's a few this season. I was just going to wait until they finished airing and then watch. A show that I want to see because of it's right next to it to the left. Conception. Oh, how oh, no. bad! No. Yeah, how no. bad! Save yourself the trauma. Four point seven seven. I have seven, not seven. seen. Seven. Oh Ouch. my god! Do not watch it. Do not. Who's gonna stay, bet that thing? Who's stay gonna clear. Bet that thing? Who's gonna bet that? Thing I was willing gonna... to give this a chance because of the ridiculous premise, but now I'm not so sure. Dude, I, don't even know were, I remember before this started, what a Crunchyroll is like. Like they were like promoting it or whatever, and they were saying like Wait, it's why similar to ReZero. What? What? <laughs> before the season started, they were saying it's the next ReZero, and like saying it's like it's similar to ReZero. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what's the? Oh what the... no! And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, what there's no we... way. Wait, the reason, don't, the reason don't, don't. Well, don't don't rely on Crunchyroll. For... Crunchy... I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I was just—that was just so like. Isn't why like... Crunchyroll um, was, you know, supporting it as it was, is because it actually Crunchyroll helped uh, make it. That's why. If From that, what I remember I mean, hearing, then that would make put, sense. They, yeah, that explains everything. They put, <laughs> they put money towards it, I think, or something like that. Oh man. I... Yeah, it's terrible. Do not watch like, it. I, like, I just uh, realized that gonna... animation started dubbing it. I'm just like, I don't know if I should just watch it just to see how bad it is. Okay, <laughs> okay. How is it compared to 100? 100. 100 is better. Oh! 100 is saying, definitely that, better. That's, oh. that's, that's telling you how bad it is. <laughs> who's willing it to, is who, okay, who's willing to bet that thing's going to drop below four? It'll be below a four by the time it's over. Oh, okay. And how is it compared to that 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 Ragnarok that air last? Ragnarok's even better than it. I'm, oh, uh, I'm not even kidding. Ouch. I'm not even if kidding. I, told you, either. If I, I told wish you, I was kidding. If I told you that Osama game was actually better than this, would you believe me? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I've heard Osama, Osama game. Osama, well, I've heard mediocre things about Osama game. Osama so. game had, has its enjoyable parts, but I mean, it's not exactly the worst thing I've ever watched. Where it was bad. So speaking of bad shows, I mean, like Mayoiga yeah. is better than it. I mean, <laughs> like there's so many other things better than it. Better Mayoga, like oh, School Days. Uh, sc I hate School Days. The only so thing good. good about School Days is the ending. Even then, it is not worth the entire trip of it. I don't care what it, my friend thinks it's a masterpiece, and I and it's still to this day I slap the shit out of him because <laughs> I don't care what you say school days I will admit has a fantastic and very satisfying ending but it is not worth the horrible one th what is it 13 12 episodes it is not worth it <laughs> although the ending is great it's fantastic from what I hear of school days the reason why it's like I've been told to stay away from it is 
I hear that there's like a rape scene in it or something like that. I think it was the NT, the Is NTR sort of thing. There's a lot of NTR. 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 There's a lot of NTR. And honestly, I, I, like, I don't want to. Re- I don't want. I don't want to remember that. Please, just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's move let's move on. And so let's speaking talk about of another a bit more fun. Uh, yeah, something. Well, another bad show. I've heard it's actually right above conception. I've heard things about it. Uh, Orega Suki oh, no wa omo that thing. Tr- okay, it's trash, yeah, but it's don't entertaining. Watch it. It's trash, <laughs> but it's somewhat entertaining. Trash, hold on, hold on, hold on. Says the guy who watched four episodes of it. We're <laughs> well, okay. Because, well, I'm because, watching like, it because it's not, like. You mean, you mean like I think Ryu was going on about it. He's saying like it's so bad, but it's just you just sit Why there and laugh at it. I do have one of these each season. <laughs> Each season now we have something like this. The animation is so was great. bad. Assist is all you need was great. So you can't compare to Assist is all you need. Era manga, while it is trash, it is extremely entertaining and thoroughly like... I've had to rewatch that series three times to make my videos. So <laughs> I have seen it and I'm like, <laughs> still, the animation is actually yeah, really damn good. I would say... I would say Era manga is definitely better than this one it's called like i think the english is like my sister my writer or something it's oh, I'm like it right now. It, it's it's yep, sister, like trash but it, it's it's enjoyable like for the fact that you can just sit there and laugh at it the whole 20 23 minutes yeah, or yeah, exactly. 24 yeah. minutes or whatever exactly. like the animation is so already. bad <laughs> i saw <laughs> like, i saw that picture you guys saw the yeah wait what was, <laughs> Look at scroll up in the chat oh, and you'll see the picture on it. Like I'll put it I'll put it in for the video for you guys. Bish really what? Quick. What the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I saw it. I just saw it. I'll post yeah. it I'll post it for you guys in the video. <laughs> for you guys who don't understand. But yeah, yeah. I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <Whack. laughs> when, when I mean if you your, sk- if, when if you, you skip out on it. If you skip on it, you will miss nothing. Yeah, if you skip out on it, I mean, then you're probably doing, well, you're, you're definitely doing uh, <laughs> the right, favorite. making the right decision. Yeah. <laughs> save, thing, save some time. Don't watch. I uh, I really think watch something really, else. Uh, this, oh, I actually heard that this is the same uh, group that did the Hajimete no Gal, so that oh, kind of that explains makes sense. a lot of stuff. Oh, actually. Okay, that, that explains a lot. a lot of stuff. I actually couldn't finish it. Hold on. Well, okay, hold on. They've they've done Plastic Memories, which I. Still haven't finished. Still finished. I, oh, no, which is no, actually, no, no, no. it's they're, actually, they're, they're producing. Wait, they're, they're producing wait, they actually like. did, they act, this is the same group that did the Plastic Memories? Like, no, they, 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 they were the same producers, never mind. The, um, oh, the same producers, okay. Yeah, so, but, no, oh, they no, did no, that the Angle, Angle Moise or whatever, that freaking Mongols anime. I don't know if you guys watched that. I don't, I don't think anybody watched that, no. but there's like some Mongol, like Mongol invasion yeah. anime that they Mongol. did. Oh, wait. Oh, the manga. Crap. I, it's I, called like I, Angle I, Angle Moy Angle Moy. Oh yeah, I, I actually wa- I actually did watch it based on your recommendation. Oh, and yeah. It was a pretty soft. It's pretty solid. It, it's still there's there's a bit of flaws there, but it's kind of a nice way. A yeah, nice it's not like on how to on yeah. seeing what the Mongol invasion was like from the. Japanese but they go from that to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, honestly, that was a, they haven't yeah, done too the, much. They haven't point. done too much outside of, you know, Hajime to no Gal, Um, Dramatical Murder, and honestly, the, everything else doesn't seem too, yeah, that's, nothing else too popular. Oh, they did Hamatora the animation that had a lot of people following it. Hamatora, uh, okay, that's something I've never, <laughs> I haven't heard of that uh, one. Yeah, it, it, it's their most popular thing they've done. It came out in 2014, so... Oh, okay. That's mm. why, oh, yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah, so, I mean, they don't have the best track record. <laughs> Not the greatest. Yeah, they definitely don't. They, don't, <laughs> they definitely sure. don't. And um, even Hajimitsu no Gal, I couldn't even stand it. I, the only reason I could finish it was I watched it in the English dub, and the English dub is fantastic. I don't care what anyone says, because they make it... They kind of pull a, uh, um, a ghost stories where they just kind of throw the script to the wind and then just like ad lib a lot of stuff uh-huh. it's pretty good <laughs> the, the, like that's that the happens. one that's the one that's the reason why i like the dub otherwise i, w- I would honestly never watch the show but the dub actually makes it at least enjoyable because they, it makes fun of itself but um here okay here's a series that i just followed out of curiosity because like uh like freaking gogo anime was just like posting i'm just like there's something called ken and ken aoi kagayaki and i'm just like what the hell is this so i just take a look 
and it's just a very unusual premises like regarding you know where is it uh, uh is ken it? and ken aoki oh, I see the bottom. yeah it's in the it's, bottom it's it is studio weird. dean but it has a 6.04 i think it's like a chinese isn't it like a chinese collaboration too or something it's based off a game oh. or the series is based off a chinese well it's, it's well it has the chinese like setting though it yeah is, i think it's, it's based just, off a, a chinese game or something it is just like weird like i can't say it's bad but i can't say it's really good because it's just like the plot just doesn't have any real meh. sort of life to it it's just like it is like the character is just like they don't have any life to it the Stuart, Stuart doesn't have life to it the cg is just questionable the, the soundtrack is just ah uh, but you can't call it immediately horrible either like as not at, at least not yet so it's okay it's but it's just like so though i'm just following it as curiosity though because it's just like well it the premises are interesting but they're not playing it out that well in terms of the execution it sounded good on paper in terms of execution it's just mediocre at best hmm. okay is there any other shows sure. that like a lot of people aren't watching too much i mean i know um... uh, uh, how many of you guys are watching triple s gridman i am i know i know oh, no. Oh, I sorry, am, hell yeah. Quadruple. Quad. Quad. Hell yeah, man. I know, I I know Mimri man. does because it's in his freaking Twitter handle. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So I, I know, okay, so I've not I've not watched it. I know it's a, re, a rehash of an older Rain. show. It's it is just, no, it's actually, honestly, it just it, it is just, it is just based on it. I don't think it's, it's like, like paying rehash. homage to like the older like um what are they called the tokatsu like shows like the like the old school like uh like live action sort of like uh like robot shows oh, like no. like like uh i forget there's like ultraman you guys have probably heard of ultraman like yeah. like uh, ultraman i i i the only hyper thing, agent thing grid I, man mm -hmm. all that yeah like they're yeah. like way they're like really old like they're like yeah probably like 40 50 years ago like we're talking um, so they, they're like kind of putting their own kind of like Twist. spin on it. Okay. Like they're paying homage to the old stuff, but also they're putting like their own kind of like twist on it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun because like for me, like there's these different attach, like you have base Gridman, like the base Gridman form. And it has like all these different kinds of like attachments that like these characters that you meet, like can like transform into pretty much and become an attachment of Gridman. So like I like seeing the transformations. Uh, you guys have probably it's saw the like craze. Power Rangers as well. Yeah, it has a like like a lot of the stuff in Gridman will remind you of like Power Rangers. Like a part of it for me oh, it reminds me of, reminds you of Power Rangers. Yeah, it reminds me of like Transformers even a little bit as well. The um, like a lot of different things, but like uh, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. I know you guys have probably saw like the craze on Twitter with like Rika and Akane. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, the, like honestly, the only reason why I would yeah. watch a show so far, just based, from what I've seen on Twitter, is that Vic <laughs> Vi saved lives. So that's <laughs> all I'm gonna. Well, say. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's definitely like, a part of the uh, re like the their oh. twist on it. Their tw <laughs> the, the the nice little twist they're adding to it. Uh, why were you gonna say anything? Oh no no. no. Because, oh, but something something that with Gridman also like it's kind of just follows like this episodic kind of format right now at least where they have like kind of this kaiju of the week oh, okay. sort of thing going on say, I was about to say yeah and like I think eventually they're gonna go into like because the main character he has like amnesia I I figure they're gonna go into that eventually um there's this whole weird thing going on like when the whole city or like the whole whatever is destroyed the next day everything's just reset like nothing happened mm -hmm. uh so I feel like they're gonna go into that, or they should go into that towards the end of the series. And there's they, also they have, they have to go into that because yeah, yeah. And like characters are literally like wiped from the memory or like wiped from existence too, like in certain resets. So there's like some interesting things like going on, like kind of that are that we're gonna come back to. But for now, it's just been following like this episodic kind of monster of the week sort of thing. But it's been a lot of fun for me. I mean, the mecha genre is like my favorite genre, so. Um... Uh it's a if we, yeah okay so it's kind of refreshing for for that especially because i haven't watched too many older like tokatsu shows like you know like the older like ultraman and stuff like that like that was never really my thing but this is kind of has like 
a mix of an older feel and a mix of a modern feel to it. So okay, that's yeah, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm I've seen more. Time. I've actually I I have heard of this old the old man like I've only looked at uh, I've like watched it quite a bit, but I only like the other Tom Cod. To uh, format was the Godzilla one that I remember better, but I don't remember too much about. Of, and I can say is like, I, I know personally, like I know people might get mad at me at this. Like, I just didn't, I just don't like the pacing that Grim has on because of how episodic it is. It's just kind of like rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Yeah, I think it's just trying to get out the, like they want to like, establish like all the transformations first, and then they're gonna probably do something out like they're gonna go a different direction with there at least i that's what i think they're doing because we still have yet to see episodes. all the we still have yet it's to only 12 see. episodes what'd you say how are they going to do that in 12, it's only 12 episodes so how are they going to do that in 12 episodes? yeah that that's that's a problem i have like how did well be able to do they've that had them? they've had one two i think there's still two more transformations they have to have or something like that um because we saw we saw boars we saw calibers we saw yeah, I think there's still one or two more. We saw Max as Vit. well. I think Vit needs to. Vit, yeah, Vit is the final one. So we we actually only need to see one more transformation. So I mean, what we're five well, that episodes would be, in. That would be so. the halfway point, and then you bet. And I mean, better yeah, get I think that's enough time to the next six episodes. Yeah, so I've, I've, and I think out. that's enough time to, yo, know, deal with like the other things that the series has presented. In my yeah, opinion, at least. Yeah, because right right now, because of the format it is, it's just kind of it hasn't really be as something like I have had in the previous trigger shows. Like I'm not saying it's bad. It's just like compared to other stuff, the other trigger stuff I've watched in the past, it doesn't feel. Oh like yeah, it, it's bad. definitely not on like, you know, like uh, it's not like a kill lock kill. It, it's not like <laughs> it's not a kizniver. It's it's not anything like that. Like oh, dying you know. in the Bronx. Yeah, the well, even actually- that. The Darling of Franks was actually very entertaining from the get from the very from the very get go. I know I know people talked about how like the the only problem I had with the Franks is how they tried to wrap it all up. That's oh, it was too rushed. That was the main bugaboo. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the last bugaboo. couple episodes were just a cluster fuck. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it, it, I I honestly think it did fine. I I I can understand. I can no. I can understand the hate on it, but I'm just like it's not the worst. It's yeah, the, yeah. I mean, Gridman's going for a whole entirely different kind of thing, though. You know, because it has like that older. It's like it's like paying homage to like the older, you know, series. You know, so I mean, I, I kind of see it in a di- like different light. I try not to compare it too much to like the other Trigger shows. Honestly, I try to see it as like its own thing. Yeah, I, I hopefully it will turn around for me. And uh, I, at least we do get a little bit of like the, when you know Utah has this amnesia thing. We at least we get to see like. Some memories being uncovered there, so yeah. it's gonna be interesting to see what it is. And I mean, I am still watching because it is trigger. It's it's freaking trigger. And thankfully, the fan service episode came out. The, the obligatory <laughs> fan service episode. Came out. The fan service episode. Dude, it was great. It, it was, was quality. Good. And uh, so I'm not gonna argue about that. But yeah, <laughs> good man. Good man is a uh, the the start is just kind of feel slow. I I personally do wish that the the big battles with there. I just wish. Personally, I would have liked it if it was more of a 2D because the 2D would have been yeah. a, lot, a lot epic. But you know what? I mean, I've I, I wasn't a fan of I, I I with me with regarding CG. Like after I've watched something like Hoseki no Kuni, I'm I'm a little like I'm a little like uh, critical when it comes to the C, when it comes to CG animation. So that that was something that just uh, you well know, I've watched Overlord, so uh, no matter what CG I come across now, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> Over- <laughs> Overlord, is especially season three, man. Oh my god. The CG in Overlord, okay, it, it, it's noticeable, but I mean, it, it could be worse. I mean, it could be like Berserk. Uh, yeah, don't even remind I... me of Berserk, man. I, uh, I thought we were, we were not supposed to talk about Berserk in terms of CG. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a faux pas. You don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's move on up. Uh... Okay, so uh, we you got you to talk about Uchi Mei no Uza Suguru. Uh... Oh, Uza Mei. Uh... <laughs> okay, I mean, so... I, 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 well... I would watch that, but I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> well, <laughs> honestly, well... no, no, no. The, the like the main thing that I, I I've seen clips of it. I've not seen a single episode, but I've seen a lot of clips of it on YouTube, and I'm, I don't know why it's on my suggested feed list. Maybe because they're just weird, but. 
<laughs> the maid. Lord. The maid. Now you guys, How do you, you guys get... know oh, that I like tomboys. Oh, I like tomboys. Oh, uh, okay. I also like I understand. muscular girls. I, I know what you. I like muscular she, girls. And they, they she's a lowly god. Can I? Can I? Can I even? Can I guess where are you, where you're going with this? Uh, uh oh. Sure. That should be good. It's because of the abs. Isn't it? Yes, those fucking abs <laughs> are. A... <laughs> she's not even no! a hot. She's not even a pop tart or a toast. You school. don't she do a, that. Uh... Those are not. Oh, Jesus Christ, those abs. Like, I've seen abs on. Like, I've seen abs on a girl. I'm like, yeah, that's hot. I've seen abs on her. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's it, it's scary. I I am not supposed to be scared by girl by, by abs on girls. No You're wonder. supposed to appreciate them. You're supposed yeah, have to have you saw her in the school awesome. outfit? Yes, I no did. I mean. That's what no I, I, I saw her in that school outfit. I'm just like, Jesus ate the wheel. I'm going, no. Yeah, you definitely fit in. Oh, I'm just oh. like, and I'm like, this girl is more ripped than dudes I have seen at the gym. Oh, wow. Who have been no, there for no, years. That's, that's, that, is, that is actually true. Yes, I, and I'm, I'm just looking like, at it right now. I remember, I, I I look like I remember like this guy this uh this maid like she's she's a like she can't you can't even call her a woman but you can't call her a man like because this is the this is literally like you could just put you could just take her head off and you'll put a guy's on and like you, they wouldn't have told that you would no, just except for the a guy boots. with big pecs. No, it would just be a guy with big pecs. That's all. That'd be that'd be. Those, uh, I mean, that'd be fine. If, if you have abs, if you have abs that you look like you can wash your clothes on, but then you have boobs like that, mm, you're doing something wrong. Well, well, <laughs> this this bitch guy, he got she got abs. You can give it like that can give that can give concussion. Oh man, like Jesus, like you look like you you need some freaking equipment to go on those freaking thighs. Oh well. Like, like, <laughs> you, like you need rock climbing gear. That's how freaking rock climbing. Gear. Yeah, like th- th- that's just weird. And the fact that this kind of lady is a lollycon, and you're just like, oh gosh, all these shenanigans are gonna pop. They're gonna pop up. It's not gonna yeah. go well. You, and, honestly, uh, like I, I, I heard... want to watch it, but I, I, I'm like, I have slight PTSD over those abs. I'm not even kidding. Like I, every I time heard... I see them, I, I like my eye twitches. I actually heard uh, Mother's Basement, uh, uh, you know what, you know, okay, I, I'm not going to uh, dial more on Mother's Basement, but like, he's, he actually said, mentioned something about having checked out the manga for this, and he said the manga is a lot more, uh, uh, you know, uh, less around mood. Yeah, yeah, and just like, wow, they don't, they, they, they don't cut any corners with, with oh, it either. No. Huh. Yep. So you'd have. Well, so, I'm dropping so, the anime. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so we glad. Yes, I'm right here. Glad that you the anime because the actual FBI stuff. Open, open up. Take a few this. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <they're... laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> but oh, no, man. like, like the clips. Like, I want to watch it, but at the same time, I'm scared to. <laughs> no, scared. honestly, I think I might just watch it on my own time. Uh, unfortunately, like none of the show. Like, is it on Crunchyroll? Uh, I don't think I it think is. So oh, it is. Uh, I might watch it then. Yeah. Even though I dropped my um, subscription, but I think for a lot of people, it's like their guilty pleasure for this season. Oh, At mean, least that's I could, what I've... I could see that. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Can I? I I'd like to mention uh, others that probably not been heard of. Um, okay, so uh, there's a uh, Bezel Bojo no Okini Masuma. Like Beelzebub? it's by Linden Films. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Be- yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's I don't. It's all sorts of. It is all sorts of fluffy. That literally, I mean, literally. it looks fluffy. Beelzebub. Yeah, it looks literally. very fluffy. I mean, and the he, fact that... he had Beelzebub, who was a well-known like demon lord, and it's cute girls. I mean, yeah. it's it's gonna be pretty damn fluff. I mean, hold... I'm looking at this right now. Yeah, oh, I don't shit. see any like. Hi, I'm a demon Demons lord. I'm gonna kill you. Training. With that no, kind of, it, it is it is a it is a it is a weird sort of it was a weird but it's kind of a refreshing take like. And you say, oh, this is actually hell. But then, like, wouldn't it be funny 
wouldn't it be funny like if this if the hell looks fluffy but then you go to heavens and everything is just is just it's just the other way around like if they actually showed an episode like that and i was just i was just like so freaking done that was just perfect that was just perfect yeah, I know, um, I know so there's another that's um, another show that's come that came out this season. I don't know if anyone watches it. Senran Kagura. In S- what? Senran Kagura. Senran Kagura. It's about Ninja Girls. Senran Kagura. Although Kagura. this is like second I, I, season. I, I, I the second season. Oh, the second season. No, I have not watched. I have not watched the first season. So I. I heard really that is a guilty pleasure. Yeah. show. that's a definite guilty pleasure show. Yeah. I've never. I seen tried it. watching season one to catch up, but I couldn't do it. I, <laughs> like is it just bad or like like is it bad i don't know like the fan service like like i was like three or four episodes in and i was like okay like people like especially my brother like he's played the games and everything yeah and he told me the anime like the anime isn't that good like don't expect a good story or anything like that but the fan service is good and i watched like three or four episodes and i was like man this isn't even that good like oh. my brother's name is tyler i told my brother i was like i was like ty this is anything. like not even that good man <laughs> <laughs> but i'm surprised that like care. they're actually putting out the episodes like uncensored on on funimation i think or yeah. something or on funimation Crunchyroll. has actually been doing pretty good it, it, like funimation is usually pretty good about like like not censoring a lot of stuff um yeah. it's crunch roll that would censor a lot of stuff like, yeah like example, I, I saw like the dubbed episodes or whatever have been, like they're like uncensored and everything so that's that's kind of cool for people who are like. I'm gonna do some detective work. <laughs> <laughs> I must just no, there's lots of there's like lots of fan service in it, but like I heard like as you go f- further into it, like it gets more like like erotic. Oh. But like I I couldn't even oh. make it past episode three or four, <laughs> honestly. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly. But I might come back like to it. it. I'm just yeah. not right now. <laughs> well, hope then. Well, uh, uh, honestly, we... it looks like those are all the shows like that are like most of the like. Uh, is there any other shows like that besides? Um, uh, there's a. I'm actually looking at Anima Yell and then Merc Story Up, and those are, those are just ones that are really nice, but they're nothing really too special. Anima Yell is uh, basically <laughs> centering around uh, a, a a young lady like probably in probably in either middle school, or high school. She comes fascinated with cheerleading, but she has no freaking. Uh, Experience. experience in it and she there's a lot and this this animation is just going to follow the shenanigans that she is and then there, of course there is a senpai figure and then there's of course that just that cute girls fan. doing cute yeah. things so, uh, and Mary, basically you drop that? Didn't yeah you i drop dropped it yeah oh yeah. yeah i did yeah i i'm still watching it but it, it's just like one of those just like it's not too special but it's not bad either. Oh, now no, it like, works short Merc it's hard story, for me yeah. to get into Moe nowadays. It's really hard to get me into Moe. I mean, like, if That's I'm going to watch that Moe, I'm going to watch a series. I, I'm gonna, I'll rewatch a series that I know I really enjoy. For example, um, Dragon Maid. I, it's still my go-to in terms of Moe because that's pretty damn yeah. Moe. That's a very Moe. Although, if you think about it, Toru does come in from another world, so it is an isekai. That is kind of different. A reverse isekai. <laughs> it's a reverse isekai. Um, <laughs> Okay, so there's another one, uh, Merc Storia. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, it's by Encourage Films. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a really, really uh, lighthearted story, and uh, it's nothing much special. It's not really special here either. It's just following a boy and then a, a healer apprentice, and then monsters. Like, it's not a really violent sort of world, but it can be a world where where stuff like when monsters can get corrupted, and then the and then guys like you have to heal them, and then his companion is someone. Is a girl that is in you know, a floating little bottle, and uh, it's just, just kind of like that. The kind of interactions they have is just, this is really hilarious. It's just really lighthearted. It's just not that. It's nothing that special. It's just something that you like to watch in your pastime, and the shena- the kind of adventures they just kind of you know get get in. So, yeah. Mm. Are any of you guys watching uh, Radiant? Radiant. Uh, I am. Yes. Yeah. Although I stopped it's, covering it. It's, it's okay. What, yeah, I mean, I can kind of see why anybody, why not a lot of people would like it. I mean, like, it's kind of, it's, it's discount. It's not a really, it's not really, nothing really special in terms of like a shonen action yeah. adventure <laughs> anime, but I think it's still pretty enjoyable. It's, Although, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. Like, someone's, uh, I've heard though that, like, after this first part of this, like, I think the next arc or something yeah, is like really crazy. Back. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, like, 
I mean, but you could tell obviously like that it's taken like a lot of inspiration from like One Piece and like those kinds of like I think the author even s- came out and said that like his series was inspired by like Oda and like a lot of these like a lot of the other shonen Wait, manga what's authors. Show? What's the show again? Uh Radiant. Oh, it's Radiant. called Radiant. Okay. Apparently it's like a French manga or something. Yeah, it's, it's by French a French manga? manga. Yeah. It's by a French manga author. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh but, Although I will uh, say it's, that uh, it's okay, yeah. Uh, Although I will say, uh, Melly, the main girl, easily second best girl. This <laughs> oh yeah, I, I like I like Melly so far too. Yeah, well, the, especially her dual personality. That's, yeah, mm. that's what personality was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Um, one I wanted to talk about was uh, Karakuri. I know some people are talking about it, but I haven't maybe saw enough as as I would like is uh, Run with the Wind. Yeah. I, um, about I, I saw you and Travis gushing about it and stuff. Yeah, uh, you know it's it's another IG sports anime, so I knew that I was going to watch it because they <laughs> usually are pretty good with those, like Ballroom and High and you know all those. Um, um, interesting about this one is that it's actually not like based on like a light novel or a manga. It's actually just fo- like a regular novel. It's actually. Oh, it's a regular novel. Yeah, like a regular like like novel, not like you know like a like a light novel or a manga. So I found that kind of like fascinating about it, and uh, you know I really like what the, what the series is doing with its characters. That's something that I've always liked with like IG sports anime, like with High Q, like like it has a huge cast, and you're like you know the way they work with the cast, like you most of the time you're gonna like you you may have like a character too you don't like, but usually most times you come to like. You know, almost the whole team uh and that's kind of where i'm getting right now with like run with the wind because they're like they give each of the like there's not really like well there's like one main main character but like all the characters have their shine so it's just like not really it's like all the characters feel like main characters uh, so like that's something that i like with run with the wind uh also has like like each character has their own kind of thing they're going through like one character is a smoker he wants to quit smoking there's One guy who's like his whole view on life, you know, he's like, like for a lot of people, you know, you go to college and whatnot to get a good job. Like he's saying, he's thinking like, oh, these people are trying to get me, you know, to start running and whatnot with them. I see this as a waste of my time because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to live my life, you know, get a job and pay my bills and all that kind of thing. Um, But like each character has their own kind of thing. They've been brought together now to like run in this race and it's kind of cool what they're doing with it. So... Um, That's one I haven't saw a lot of people really talk about, honestly, which is kind of surprising because, you know, I, usually a I lot have... of people are all over these kind of shows. Um, I I I I am following it. It's just that I'm I'm not I'm not a particularly uh, really into you know the sort of sports genre. The the thing is with Hanebado is just like back from the previous one. It's just like. The animation was, was was really good, and the fact that it had a a, a more of a it seemed to it, it was it like it was it seemed it, I thought it was like promoting a focus on like uh sort of a sort of relation a sort of you know relationship but between like you know two female protagonists and their like goals and progressions and all that. I thought that was going to be the case. I was really disappointed with how Hanebao uh, did kind of just turn out. I just hated well something that instantly I just really didn't i just didn't really like what hannibal did in terms of character deconstruction like i really thought that i really thought well, something that that's a lot more movie. mature about run with the wind is that it's all it's all based on college students so they're like out of yeah. high school and there's not going to be any like petty kind of stuff like that going on <laughs> like yeah. i liked hanabato early on but like i forget at what point it just started going off the rails for me it was like i think episode like maybe four or five or something like it just it just started declining like after it started so strong but uh yeah. run with the wind i mean like every episode i've i've really enjoyed so far the soundtrack is awesome the animation is awesome like they have like the best some of the best animators from the studio working on it who worked on like high q and stuff so yeah oh, yeah it does kind of look a little bit uh the the, the animation does look the main character looks like uh kageyama from high q <laughs> Oh yeah, he kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah, he actually kind of does. And then there's another sports one. I don't know if you guys are watching. It's from Kyo Annie. It's called uh, Sarune, like the archery Sarune. one. 
Oh, it is. Uh, I, I don't really know. I I, I'm not really. Cool. I've not really heard that. I've I haven't not... heard too much about it. I yeah. haven't heard anything about. I don't really watch sports anime, which is odd though because it's Kyoto really animation. Watch anime. It's, yeah, it's... I mean, well, you already know it. Like the 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 character designs are beautiful. The animation is beautiful. The backgrounds are beautiful. So, you know, um, it's kind of it's kind of had like a late start. It got delayed like three weeks or something like that. Um, I, I it might have been because of like the. I think there uh, might have been like a tsunami or something in in Japan or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly, or maybe an earthquake. I don't know what it was, it was but it got delayed. Right yeah, it got delayed for like three weeks. Uh, so there's only like I think three episodes out right now, but that one's kind of going for like the whole thing as well. Like you know, uh, main character like he's kind of like he starts off in the series like really good with archery, and then there's like a certain point where he like. Yo, he kind of loses his touch for the for the sport and like how good he used to be and he's like trying to regain that back and he's like getting into like um he's like coming back with like a group of friends and whatnot that he had in his past and uh forming another team so it's kind of going for the same thing as run with the wind that's kind of kind of why i wanted to like put them together because you know it's like a collective group of characters who you know progress together so um okay but run so... with the wind is more about the group rather than Sarune, which is more about like the individual, I would say. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, but speaking both are of, pretty solid. Speaking of sport, like I've, I've, uh, I've, out of curiosity, I did kind of follow. Like I didn't think I would want to follow it, but I just followed the Hino Ma Maru Sumo. Oh and, yeah. Uh, that's a Same. weird. That it's a kind of weird thing. The the thing I have uh, issues with, like the fact that the same thing with running the wind, like. I am a little bit tired of like, oh, a bunch of a bunch of people, a bunch of you know amateurs, and then one ace trying to reach for the top. We're trying to reach for the top like that. I that's a, that's a format I've gotten tired of. But it, I mean, it, it will depend on how it showcases how it progress progress anything. And you know, you know, Mazuma does have his enjoyment value. It's just that because it's like twenty four, it's going to be labeled. It is listed as twenty four episodes, and you just kind of wish like. You just hope it doesn't get dragged out to the point of, like where we don't see any, you know, character deconstruction or like prolonged arcs where it doesn't feel like a lot, a whole lot is happening. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate because they're like skipping out on so much stuff apparently, and they're like switching everything around. <laughs> like the yeah, like the anime adaptation is like so bad. People have told me like, like uh, which I mean, there's so many chapters out right now. I for I forget how many are out exactly, but. It might be like in the two hundreds or something now, and they're and they're trying to adapt it all in like twenty four episodes or something oh, like that. Oh God! Holy so, shoot, man! Yeah, That's... there's there's over two hundred chapters out, and they're they're going for twenty four episodes. So yeah. So they're trying to shove ten episodes and um, ten chapters per episode. Yeah, like every <laughs> every vi like I stopped making videos over it because I was just like. I was like, I'm just gonna read the manga at some point. Like, I'll follow the anime for now, but I I do want to read the manga. So, you know, but every video I made, because I did like the first three episodes, I think, or four, every video people were like, dude, just read the manga. This ad this adaptation is terrible. <laughs> just like, okay, geez. so but they're telling me they skipped out on all this stuff and like switch things around and like introduce characters they shouldn't have like this early on and all that. <laughs> oh, okay. So speaking of terrible shows, I don't know what to feel about. Akane Sasu Shoujo, the girl in Twilight. Like I, I know I've I dropped it in terms. Want, I've dropped watched, it in terms of a covering reaction. Yeah, I only watched the first episode. And, uh, like it was okay. Like, I didn't. Yeah, watch I, it. I fell off of that one. Honestly, I, I didn't know. I did. I'm, I'm still radar. following it. Just, I'm still following it on all time just for it. And uh, nothing really impressive is coming out of uh, out of this. To be fair, it's just a bunch of girls just trying to do. Jumping into uh, jumping into other worlds, linking with something, and then shenanigans happens, and it's just like it's yeah. a setup. Just like, oh boy, this is not gonna go well. And uh, there's another uh, bad show that I want to talk about. I don't really know what it, I don't really know what to mention. It's like, uh, actually, there's two. There's a uh, Bakumatsu, and then there's Sora to Umi no Aida. Okay. So I don't know which one I should go on first. Um, um I actually watched Bakumatsu, like, and like. I kind of, to be honest, I kind of like dropped it because at first I thought it was gonna be like a romance. I mean, that's that's what the synopsis kind of made me believe. But then, like, it's all guys though. <laughs> yeah, it's all guys, and it's mostly like historical fantasy. 
historical action. So and before and before they in before they actually in before they actually like uh, someone attacks someone sexually attacks the the lolly the lolly ninja or something whoever the hell that is. <laughs> I wish there was a lolly. Wait, is there a lolly ninja? Yes, there is. There, there is. Oh. I, that's, I'm still watching it just to see how it's play out. But I don't like what they're trying to do with this uh, time travel, time thing sort of shit. Like the thing with time traveling and all that. That's something I really just kind of get annoyed by because of like how like oh dude, wouldn't there be like um, interferences? Like what if what if you do this differently? Like in in the past and uh, you think like is it going to just mess up to when you set to how it goes when you try to jump back or it's confused it is confusing i think only like steins gate did the time the first steins gate kind of did the time travel thing like the best like from what i've seen so far this one is just a mess it is just a mess and it actually features i actually think it features like the guy the main the main villain is actually actually yeah, tries to summon people like heroic like historical figures from other from different timelines to try to attack them at one point and the, i didn't i didn't know where they're trying to go with this to be honest it's just yeah it kind of does sound like a mess <laughs> and uh sora to okay there's there's the other one sora to umi no aida tms entertainment adventure fantasy satisfy in space so Hiroshima fit okay in the future in own only meets you. Hiroshima fish. Oh. Huh? 4.89 rating. There's a 4.8. Yeah. yeah Hiroshima I... fish disappeared from the sea yeah. around the world. No. Only yeah. whales live in the ocean. The Ministry of Fish decided to set up an experimental universe fish tank in space designed to train space fishermen. Female fishermen on demand due to the strengthening of equal employment law for men and women. Uh, six new female space fishermen in the story centers are supporting growth. Not now, lie, here's a problem. I, he, super boring. Here's, <laughs> here's, here's, okay, here's, here's the problem. I here's the here's the problem I have. All the characters are dumb as hell in that damn oh, series. Oh no, they're That's dumb like as the hell. the worst kind. They're, I, they're, no, they're they're either dumb or they're just ego. Just just too much ego thrown around. It's just stupid. I and just, and uh, what's those worse, are the kind of characters I despise so much. And, what, and, and you know what? And you know what's worse? There's discrimination between women and men, and it's just like, oh god, here we go again with this. Discrimination. Like the discrimination thing and stuff, they either played really well or they played badly. This one is just, it just kind of tosses it in to just make it look more dramatic, and it doesn't look really good. It even it's and the, the point... CG is awful. Huh? Are you seeing CG it? in it? The CG is off. The ter- the the action is the action is awful. It's too cheesy as fuck. And uh, yeah, it's a mess. I dropped it yeah, after don't watch three. It. <laughs> I, I dropped it. I dropped it after three episodes. I'm just like, I don't try to drop episodes like series. Like I try not to, but yeah, I'm just like, I don't want to drop fuck. series. I'm anymore. just like, damn. I'm. You know what? I'm tired of that shit. I'm not doing that anymore. That's that's how. That's why I just I've stopped. The I, was gonna say, I was going to say there's actually another show here that has a score of four point eight nine as well. Which so one? Is it, I say sorry, not. 4.89 4.87 and that's uh something called devil doll devil, devil doll page i have not yeah. seen i have not seen oh that. Wait, wait where is it devil doll i have one. not heard three have devil not girls um... iras shima and hana live in the human world leading a dazzling school life with efforts and friendships they aim to be idols Ugh! it's a heart bumping <laughs> anime climbing that stairs wait what it's a hard not. bumping. Oh my anime god! Do not that stairs. Not wait. They memory, don't did know you check the it answer out? to what is idle. I- I'm already like getting triggered over this description. And we <laughs> don't watch the, the preview. Road. Don't watch the preview. Oh, god. I'm gonna watch the preview. Uh, oh, no, now you're not. Now no, you're you don't watch... to... Hold on. It looks right, so. Bad. I'm gonna watch the preview. <laughs> what the fuck it is looks that? So bad. What the fuck is that? Is that CG? Oh, uh, what is this? That can... CG, bad Sark, CG. is this you? <laughs> I, I, I'm not watching with sound, but I just see a bunch of like, what the f- I love how the studio for it just says, none found. Okay, great. Okay, I'm not, wa- I'm not watching this anymore. Nope, no, forget that. The forget studio that. is like right, not even right. found. Like they didn't even want to put their what name the on this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? let what in tarnation? Um, what in tarnation did I just see? <laughs> I can't even watch the preview for that then. 
Oh my god. Uh, what it let's let's I'm glad let's I didn't touch I'm glad I didn't touch it. Yeah, we should move I'm on. I'm glad I didn't touch that I'm, I'm, first episode. I, I, I'm thinking I, I am of, upset that you guys idols. have seen my face right now because it's a mixture of disappointment and frustration. Uh, yeah, I wish you guys could see my reaction. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> is this, Come on, this is so is this bad. Is this black animation this, shit? This is, oh my god. Speaking of idols. Oh, look at the, of look idols. At the running animation. Oh my <laughs> god. Hey, okay, Ramen, ra Ramen, I just gave, I just gave up way, man. So, you're on your own with this. Oh, I'm not even sure. Well, honestly, oh, the worst one, it looks like the worst score is uh, 4.59 Himote House or Himote House. Oh, right. 4.60 like Oh, I I try I saw the first episode and I'm just No. What? Yeah, I'm no. not even going to mess with the It, it, the it is all CG. Oh, no, just never saying. mind. I'm out. I'm out. You, you <laughs> lost me on CG. Oliver, what were you about to say? Oh, because we started speaking about idols. Oh. I thought it was time to read oh. talk about a certain Ooh, show that, we... that that Talk about what is actually really, really, really good. Zombieland Saga. It involves zombies. Okay, let's get to that. Thank, thank, oh, now, okay. Zombieland Saga, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on. I have not seen any episode. Pitch the show to me to get me to watch it. By the way, okay. I'm gonna watch it myself. Just, just, just try to pitch it to me. <laughs> Idol girls and rap battle. Okay, I'm already in. All right, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Watching the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just, what I saw. Anyway. They are literally with this show. They're just literally shit taking everything they can out of the out of the, the, their band books. They're this. They're pretty much making fun, sus referencing every single anime trope pretty much in each episode they're like tearing down the anime tropes and just making fun of them well mainly the idol anime tropes yeah i was like, kind of surprised that a lot of people are saying they like it because i heard the first two episodes were really weird i was gonna a lot do... people the first two episodes are my favorite episodes honestly and like and the problem look the problem with the zombie land saga well it's not really much of a problem is just the way that it was marketed because if you look at the synopsis, the synopsis is a complete and utter lie for starters. Oh, the, is it a bigger the, lie than is it a bigger lie than one with Bunny Girls that by the synopsis? I can you repeat that. You cut out there. Yeah, um. Out. Okay, sorry. Um. Is it? Do you do you say that it's a lie? But is it a bigger lie than the synopsis you got for? Is it a bigger lie than the synopsis for Bunny Girl? Is what he said. Yeah. I haven't read the it synopsis doesn't... for Bunny Girl. Let me read that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a lie. I think it just says something about um, him, like, encountering a bunny girl or something. <laughs> and they just yeah. lied. And it's um, like, there's not really much of a bunny up, bunny girl. Oh, yeah. She stops being a little... Like, we only see her, like, for, like, what? Once. Two two minutes on screen in a bunny girl outfit. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Yeah, she's in, on, in the... She's, the, she's poster the, is, uh, the poster is actually very descriptive, too. But it's let's go back to of, a Zombieland saga. Yeah, let's, let's go back to Zombieland, Zombieland saga. saga. Because even the PV for that is a lie. Like, like this is what, like, originally I wasn't going to watch Zombieland Saga at all. But then, like, people started to convince me, like, you should, come on, just check out the first episode. And I did. I reacted to the first episode. I was like, okay, this is hilarious as all hell. And I love it for, love every minute of it. Like, Quiet. Uh, what? What? Quiet. I think I, I think I was there was that one the uh, <laughs> that one uh, parody on parody on like how, what I did with the uh the Zombieland saga how oh, she got yeah, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that that the M and M and M G K. The M and M and M G K. Oh, I saw that one too. That was that was <laughs> Your fucking boring. beard is weird. <laughs> wait, no, I did. Wait, which one? There's a. There's an M and M and M G K like rap battle like parody, then oh. people put yeah, their voices in the them. studio yelling at the mic. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, okay. So no, it was, so it was the so it was the one so it was the one that was there was the one with the angel beats inserted in it. And, and it there's was the one, one with the, the JoJo. uh, JoJo's to be continued. Yeah, there's like... also there's also one in which they um actually did a live action version of. Oh, I saw uh, that where the voice actresses are doing the it. The actual voice actors. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That was, that was, so that was awesome. really cool. That was. That yeah. was fun. This, this is what I like. It's smart, honestly, on their part, like in Japan, because 
like we know like these like a lot of these idol shows like sell like hot cakes like they're just like a big thing over there like all the time or like most of the time so like what's gonna come out of this series is probably like you know they're gonna have like these cds from songs that they made you know specifically for the show and they'll probably have like concerts and like you know shit yeah, like that it's gonna be like 15 seasons three yeah. movies. <laughs> 15 i would i would not be surprised the, honestly eight video the games of, the number of times now that i've re-watched the rap battle <laughs> From episode two of Zombie Land Saga, like I've watched it, probably watched that now like seven, eight times. Simply okay, that's just so great. I I personally thought like the rap at, at first when I first like watched it, I thought it was cringe. But when I watched the second time, I'm just like you know what, those that's actually pretty. It's actually pretty good that they at that for, that as a first timer, as a first timer, like you you have to like I have to admit like at least like for a first timer, they actually did pretty damn good. Especially with that last part, and just like, wow, that is actually pretty funny. And it's not, it's not just the rap battle too; like everything else was pretty funny about the yeah. series. Another thing I, oh, sorry, so I was just, just want to quickly say, I'm going to put it out there right now. If you're if you're listening to this podcast and you have not started watching Zombieland Saga, watch go, it now. Go watch it right now because it needs a higher score on Mal. It definitely needs a higher score because this thing oh, it is sure does. funny. This thing is funny as all hell, and you're doing doing a massive disservice for not watching it. I think I'll oh. watch it on my own. Time. We'll, I'm probably not gonna. And while you're it. at it, watch release the spice. Well, <laughs> to be fair, I just want to kick ramen. To be fair, if you did try to react to Zombie Land Saga, you'll probably get hit with another strike. So don't bother with it. Yeah, I know. It seems like another claim. Me, and not in the good uh, way. The thing that another thing I really find cool about Zombieland Saga is that the like uh, Mamoru Miyano, Mamoru Miyano, the like he's like a very famous like voice actor. Uh, you guys are probably like he voices like so many characters. Like, are you talking uh, about um the the Kotaro. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. The one that I know him from, of course, is he's um he's Okabe he's Okabe from, from Steinsgate. Steinsgate. Yep. And, yeah, Light and, that... and Light Yagami as well yeah oh, and dazai and, so he does like a lot of huge roles and he's and literally one. he's literally his own character in the show oh that's yeah. actually cool that's something they did just specifically for him and it, it, it's awesome like his character is awesome like a like big thing with him is like the music come on thing where he like yells he's like yeah. music come, come on, on. <laughs> let's, <laughs> so, go, like, let's go let's go let's go yeah like uh <laughs> so what they're doing with that is really cool uh something that like the first two episodes of Zombieland Saga I loved, and I, I understand that, like, they're, like, you know, the group was trying to find, like, the kind of group that they want to be, and now they, they've, yeah. you know, kind of figured it out. Like, they want to be, like, kind of your normal or, like, typical idol girl group, you know, with the, with the songs that we hear, like, quite a bit, or, like, just the style of the songs. Like, I was hoping that they would, like, kind of mix up the genres, uh, like, well, keep they mixing have. up. They, ha they have been mixing them up. That's the thing. Like, Episode yeah, yeah, I mean, episode, but I, like, it seems like now, episode, it seems, yeah, it seems like now, though, they're just going to else. follow the the kind of normal Idol Girl songs. Like, I don't think they're going to well, mix up the genres of music anymore. Yeah. It's to be like a uh, parody slash reference to the, uh, like, Love Live. Yeah, the with Love the Love CG and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, okay, I've, before we move on to Bunny Girl Senpai, I've got one Ooh. last very important question about Zombieland Saga. What? Who is your best girl? Ty. Ty Yamada. Ty, Ty Yamada? Yeah, I would say yes. Yep. Ty Yamada is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely anyone my else? favorite. Has the to be fact, anyone else who's playing? The fact, that, the fact that she's just doing her own thing and the fact yeah. that she's the catalyst of all the shit. She's often caught cat catalyst of all the shit. The fact that she... she like the others have like a bit of a spoiler here but the, since the others have like woken up and like she is still acting like a zombie is even more hilarious <laughs> yeah that's that's pretty much that's pretty much the gist of it and that's why they get into all all this that's why they all get all into this trouble is because yeah. of tie. it's hilarious it's um right so now we're yeah, going bunny, bunny girl bunny girl uh, yeah. so um let me see. Uh, there's a. I don't know if I want to. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this up. 
it's a series I don't. I'm not sure if I really want to bring up in the, in this time. In this in this time, um, there's still a lot of stuff that I would like to mention as well. I'll just make it quick. Uh, this is uh, a series called Ulius Jean d'Arc to Reckon no Kishi. That was a series that I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure about, and uh, I'm just gonna say this: it's not really good because of how it's it's presented. The 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 way it just you know. How do I describe this man? It I I don't know what what to say. It's a trash harem. Yeah, it's a trash harem. But <laughs> thanks. Have, I should have, have said you that. seen it? Where elixir is transferred through freaking <laughs> tongue French kissing your oh partner. oh it's that kind of show <laughs> oh. it's that kind of show huh? it is like, that kind of show isn't that isn't that having a fight mm. He is the cock of the damn show, man. It, that's what it is, man. But but you know what? I am watching because it is enter- it, it is just for the pure entertainment. Because I even though I know it's pretty freaking bad, it is really bad. But you can't stop. But you don't want to stop watching. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put this on my plan to watch list real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Rick so now we're going to part. Buddy Girl. Yeah, let's go. Uh, can um, we all anime. agree? Can we all can we all agree that Bunny Girl Senpai has the best couple of the season? Yeah, hell, I would even say oh, best sure. couple I, I of the whole I can't year. I agree with that yet. <laughs> I, I, I would put them up there for the year. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely for the year. Actually, definitely they're, for the year. They're so flipping adorable together. The chemistry is good too. Really so, good. Yeah. And Sakata is such a beast. Yeah, he's a savage. <laughs> Oh yeah, you said. Cause you know why he doesn't he doesn't give a shit what people think about. Him. He has exactly no- oh, yeah. exactly. That's why he reminds he- me so much of uh, what's his, of Hiki from Origairu. Because or from, oh yeah he, yeah yeah because he's because he, Hiki doesn't, Hiki doesn't he, care he doesn't, at I, all either. I said the same thing in my episode one reaction. I swear to God, I was like, he reminds me a lot of my yep. romantic comedy Sanfu just for some yep. reason. Without, yep. without, without... Yeah, actually, actually, <laughs> well, I think Sakata has more wit or like, yeah, well, uh, um, a more. Lot of gangs brought this up. Lot of gangs Sakata brought this up because even though, yourself. He, yeah, he he shared a picture of that character from um, Snafu. And then to compare it with um, my, from my, uh, with my and um, Money Girl Senpai, and even I have to admit they looked a hundred percent similar. Like there is no comparison between them. They're both, honestly to God, the same girl. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I feel uh... like I I don't know when Origairu like first like started, but I feel like maybe the author there. The, it, I know Origairu started like maybe a couple years before. Yeah. Before this series, I, I'm thinking maybe the author got like some kind of inspiration off Origairu because the two main characters, like from both they, series, they are really look similar. Oh, yeah, the only difference is that, that like no third uh, Mai deal. has a has a pink hairpin, and then Yukino has a like red red ribbon, little red yeah. ribbon. Yeah, other than that, they're and they're my different. and my is often depicted is often depicted with a very well. Well, only for well, only for two minutes, she was wearing a bunny suit. So yeah, and, and I mean, Mai is a lot more like obviously there are different like they're not exact like copies of each other because like like uh, Kawhi said like you know Sakura has like a lot more wit to him compared to like Hiki, and I'd even say like Mai is a lot more like upfront than like Yukino is yeah. in, in Origairu. Yeah. Um, but like you know, it, it does have its things that make it stand out now. Another thing that uh, I haven't personally gotten into the Monogatari series yet, but a lot of people make comparisons to the Monogatari series. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, there's definitely a bit story, of story, like there. plot wise, like how they're helping other people. Yeah, I, I could definitely. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, we can. I can definitely see that. Yeah. But I must admit, compared, um, besides that though, no, I don't really. Would you say it's more it. closer to Origairu? It's more. I haven't seen Origairu. I just oh, okay. plan to watch this, but. Um, no, I'm planning to react list really, um, but yeah, I will get to it at some point. But so, as far as I'm aware, besides that, yeah, that that's like my like when I yeah when when I first like watched like uh, Bunny Girl Senpai, like that was the first show I instantly thought of. I was like, okay, this literally reminds me of Origairu. <laughs> like, 
Like, I've, you know, yeah, I've seen both Madoka Tari and Orgairo. Like, I could definitely see the resemblance. I wouldn't say, like, people are saying, like, oh, it's probably like, it's looks like some sort of ripoff. Like, it, I wouldn't say, like, it's like yeah, a, I wouldn't say that, uh, but yeah, that's like the number you... one thing. It's like, I would say, closest to or reminds me of. Yeah, yeah just if the characters. If say it so rips, rips it off, it, if I was going to say it was, rips it off, I'd probably say the characters look the most similar, but besides story wise, I don't think they'd be that similar. Mm -hmm. Like, what the whole story about um, Funny Girl Senpai is about with, uh, like, this uh, puberty syndrome and, like, how it affects people. I don't think um, Snuffy does that, right? Wait, wait. wait like, is that different than, like, Snafu you're talking about? Yeah, like... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Snafu does doesn't really have something like that go going on. No. But, like, Snafu, like... I mean, I see what Bunny Girl Senpai is trying to do. Like, like it's it's trying to get kind of like, uh, like, I don't know. I, I don't know if you'd want to say like, uh, how should I put it? Like, Snafu is more of like a, uh, maybe I would say like a kind of like a social like commentary almost like, kind of yeah. like on high school and, and all that. I could, yeah, I kind of see that. Yeah, like I, I wouldn't I like I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Bunny Girl Senpai is like. I'm like going for that as much on the level as Snafu, you know, did. Um, but yeah, like that, that's a, that's like the main, like, that's the big difference. Like, you know, the whole puberty syndrome thing going on that like can make bunny girl sem uh, senpai like stand apart, you know, from say an origairu or, yeah. you know, um, yeah, it's I'm... really good. It's really good. One thing I've noticed between these shows is that um, both like when, Show like Monogatari or Gairu and Bunny Girl Senpai, three of them have like this kind of theme where it's like these high schoolers, like they're helping out other people and then they kind of yeah. like find themselves while, while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, like, like I kind of, and considering how popular, like Monogatari is really popular. Yeah, um, and so is Snafu. Yeah, Snow <laughs> Snafu. And Bunny Girl Senpai, there's actually like a movie coming out in 2019. Like, kind yeah. Of, takes place in the same universe like that seems that kind of theme seems to be really like popular among uh yeah, there's already a movie things. announced for bunny girl senpai which is awesome yeah mm -hmm. um okay so but it's definitely uh, i would say bunny girl senpai is like definitely one of the best of, of the season oh yeah oh, it's, yeah. Part, it's part oh, of my yes. aots right? yeah um let's talk about goblins so how about sword art online huh <laughs> <laughs> Wait. is it better than the is it how would you way better than the first and second season Wait, really? oh. way better yeah well it, it's like in, here like for me like i i would i wouldn't say like it's too early because it's going to be 50 episodes right so i mean we're only like five episodes in to alicization I was going to 50 episodes. Yeah, it's okay. going to be like 24, and then they're taking a break, and then it'll be 24 more, or 25, 25 uh, each season or whatever. But, like, um, the, the thing, like, it's too early for me to say, but I, like, my favorite part of Sword Art Online before Alicization was, like, the first part of the first season, which was, like, Aincrad. Like, that was my favorite part. I don't like, I didn't like uh, ALO. I didn't like GGO. I like the... The second half of season two, but Aincrad really is the one that like stood out for me, like in all of SAO. And I can already see like Alicization is definitely going to eclipse anything we've had in SAO so far. Just with how the beginning of the series is is like starting, like it's actually like trying to have like an actual well developed story, and you know, <laughs> which is yeah. like you know something That's I thing. like I heard that it's the best part of Sword Online, but. Yo, people are already complaining about, oh, it's too slow or whatever. But I'm just like, to those people, I'm just like, you guys are complaining that it's like, you know, that they're actually trying to have a story with Sword <laughs> Online. And all okay. you've ever complained about with Sword Online is that it has no story and that the characters suck. But now they're actually trying to build on the characters and have a story. And you guys are complaining. It's well, like, you, can't, everybody. Yeah. Which was you can't. I had a problem with. There's always... There's always gonna be someone complaining about something. Yeah, it's, that's uh, how it is. It's you just like this. Th it's like the Sword Online haters just hide in their holes until another season comes out. Yeah, and they they... But, okay, I <laughs> I, I want to speak up. I want to speak up about this. Like, if this if it wasn't okay, I'm just gonna make a bet. I'm just gonna call this right now. If it wasn't for these haters, I would put it up. 
I would put this arc up there along with maybe not up next to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but definitely near that. Like if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the hater fan base, I bet the grade would be near uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Because right now I don't I have not I have yet to really see anything in terms of uh, in terms of a, a huge major fault or what so whatsoever like i like they even i even heard that the it's actually doing better from the from the original source because they actually implement some it's adding original, on, yeah. original stuff yep. and uh there's one thing that i do want to point out i think uh chibi reviews actually pointed out there are some the client didn't really appear in that one particular episode a whole lot and he actually showed up and actually see more of those characters yeah that whole ggo scene was was original apparently but they they just use that to like add you know, onto like the story even more and a lot of people are saying that it fit like actually really well it's actually it, a segue, i mean it, i didn't have a uh, problem with it <laughs> it's a it's a segue it's kind of like a refresher like, yeah, yeah. what to expect and uh, i don't get why people just complain about it. i know mother's basement just complain the shit out of it and uh, it's honestly his, it's his money maker it's his money it's, maker so. okay i'm just gonna say this i mean <laughs> I don't. I I would do if I I would do it for money, but I wouldn't do it just to just to shit on something unless if I have a good reason. I, I don't see a good reason to you know shit on the series so so e so easily when it's not when I've yet to see a major fault. Yeah, I mean, sadly, say. it sadly it's just you know those the, like a lot of people who like the first two seasons they just kind of like you know this like well from there in their minds they're just like okay this shit's trash i'm like never going to give sao a shot again so like a lot of people aren't going to give this new season a shot or they are just with that they if they do get a shot they're just going to have that mindset you know they're not going to have an open mind to you know what alicization is is trying to do so yeah but you know like you guys said you can't please everybody so you know i'm just going to watch it you know, enjoy it. Well, I'm enjoying it so far. Hopefully, I enjoy the later parts of it. Um, oh, 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 I think I think you really, you will, you will. It, it's I, yeah. I did. Gets it gets even better. It gets even better. Yeah. I mean, my friend reads the has read the novels, or he like I think Alicization actually just wrapped up, like in the novels. I think um, it was like a few months ago that. Yeah, they, it's the longest know. part. It's the longest part of Sao to date, and it's yeah. the best. My friend has told me so. That, that's all I really have to go on, but. He said it, it gets you know really really good going forward. So, um, you know yeah, what's I'm, funny? I'm I'm happy about it so far. You know what's funny? Like I saw the cover for Alicization, and when I saw the when I first saw the girl in the middle, the first thing that popped in my mind was she looks like a love child between Saber and Gilgamesh. <laughs> she she does. <laughs> oh my god! That, that's what I mean. That... Like, like like she got like, that like, long, like, what if, hair, like what if what if what if what if Gilgamesh actually married Saber? Oh no! Stop! I really don't want to think about this. No, please. Yeah. That's that's, that's, one of the, that's the result. Found, that is the result. I'm that's one of the things I found iffy about Fate Zero because when I first like see Gilgamesh thing, saying like, you know, oh, I want to marry you, Saber, and, and how dare you interrupt my wedding ceremony, Kiritsugu? I'm like. I don't know how I feel about this because like Gilgamesh, he's like he's like king. He's like arrogant and then like he's also a badass. He's got he's got the power to prove it. Yeah. And then now he's professing his love for a girl. And I'm like, you turn into like some sort of like high school boy with a crush now. I'm like, what? Jesus man. <laughs> yeah, I don't I, I really don't, but I mean whatever is his fetish, I guess. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean hey, I, I don't I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But that's true. And then you just see the poster and you're just like, damn. <laughs> yeah. But uh we so I is that enough we want to talk about our sensation? I do want to mention yeah. some other stuff though that I don't think we really touched upon. Yeah. Uh it's Golden Cowboy season two well, well, and then Karakuri Circus. So which one do you want to get started on? Uh I've I've heard, I've heard Karakuri Circus because that, it does interest me that one because I haven't seen it, but what interests me the, is that it's based on a manga, but the manga was made in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, it's by the same creator of uh, Yushio and Tora. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys ever watched Yushio and Tora, but no, I was no. I was planning I was planning to I was planning to watch it, but like I said, it's the abyss of plan to watch. So. <laughs> 
I'm I'm liking Car Curry Circus so far, honestly. Yeah, I've seen uh, the first. I haven't caught up with it, but I've seen the first episodes. It's pretty. It's not that bad. I don't. Yeah. Well, I don't Especially really the newest episode. Oh I, my! I God. heard the newest episode was sad. Yeah, the newest episode, man, was. Uh, I'm just like okay. To be fair, tough. like. To be fair, like I, I, I am still guess. I am still. You still he's think, still yeah. Alive. yeah. He's still yeah. alive, and that at least his absence. Hey, oh, yeah, hold on! The... Don't, 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 don't spoil. It. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> that, that's too much, but, but, but the thing is, we're not gonna. We haven't seen enough of these, like you know, really dark sort of shonen sort of series like that. And Karakuri Circus is like. Because of the theme it has, I mean, come on, like pop, like the the you know ma- the manoret, the puppets thing. You'd have to think, like, despite the fact that it's puppets, like it's the thing with the with, the, with puppets in anime. Like when there's something associated with that, it, it get it can get pretty dark because of how like you know, like foreboding or how creepy like puppets can look. And then you just kind of yeah. add add this in. I do, I do want to say Narumi's uh, syndrome really sucks. To be fair. Wait, Narami's what? His what? disease? Yeah. It's Oh like, yeah, yeah. I, I I pray to Christ I don't ever get that in any Oh wait, he has to make people laugh or else he's gonna <laughs> freaking die. <laughs> Yo, I saw that I saw that scene where he like tried to make it's like make me laugh, make me laugh. <laughs> like he went to a convenience store, he just tried to do all these funny <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I, I feel bad I feel awful for him, man. That has to suck so much. Yeah. Like, I mean, they, like each of the each of the the main characters like has their own kind of like your thing or you like you feel really bad for them like with like with Narumi like with his disease and then with um with Shirogane, Shirogane. With a, yeah, yeah with like Maxi. how she was raised like it's terrible and how and she then, has to wear that stupid and then you also suit. you also think of like yeah. how bad Masu is. yeah and then Masu is like a young teenager. He's like a kid, pretty I don't much. Think he's even a teenager. I mean, yeah, he's like... not even a teenager. He's like twelve or eleven or something. But yeah, like he, like you know, his, his like I can't, I can't even say because he gets spoil, his, uh, but... <laughs> he gets some sort of you know inheritance, big. big yeah, and he has all these people following. Him. Him. All people want to want Adam want to kill him. Yeah, they either want to kidnap him or kill him. Yeah, it's not like he chose to, you know, be in the position he's in. You know, know. like. It's like it's you know it sucks for like each of the characters with their own kind of predicaments and like how they were like brought up and everything. Yeah. So I get yeah. So yeah, it was it's pretty good. I just wish talking about, but it's because like it came from the '90s. I actually have seen a PV trailer that from the '90s about it that it was going to get an adaptation, but it just got heavily delayed. And then like decades later, it then finally gets an adaptation. So yeah, I. Mm. I, I don't know and it's and it's by and it's picked up by amazon so that might be another factor and why a lot like people aren't really talking about it. i know there's been shows on amazon that people still talked about a lot but like i, I feel like that might be like a factor with this one because amazon doesn't really promote their shows like you know crunchyroll does no. yeah they you know? don't yeah they, so, don't. <laughs> they don't which is kind of unfortunate but and also uh... another thing that sucks with amazon is they like sometimes they don't even get like Blu-ray releases or <laughs> anything like that. All right. Um, which one do we want to talk about? Are we oh, you were talk talking about, about Golden Kamor season two. Uh oh yeah, oh yeah, Golden Kamor. That it was first of all like it it's a, it's doing it's pretty doing pretty solid so far. That's no yeah. other, no other way I can really say it. I can say it. Yeah, it's just good old good old Golden Kamor. Good old Kamui. Golden Kamor. <laughs> That's all you can say about it. The it fact that. Cool. The fact Which that is it's like, like, oh, you go ahead. The fact that it's like, it just, it's the thing with like, it, it it has the funny, funny moments, but it has its serious, it has its really serious moments too. And it, the thing with uh seriousness and then like balancing with comic relief, there are shows that do it really well, and then there are shows that do it like in a yeah. horrible, horrible way. Now, if I want to, if there's one example of horrible, I know people could get mad at this, but. I didn't like how Akame got killed kind of went with it. I mean, comic the the bad comic relief placing is the wor- is not is not the worst part of it. It's just that when you're just like having a tense sort of moment, like it's 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 not like how like if we're gonna interrupt a really tense moment, at least do it in a timing to where like people will anticipate people will anticipate will be okay and will be anticipant of where. It, of, of when that comic relief is gonna is gonna is gonna stand, 
And uh, Akame Mega Kill didn't, was one of those that didn't do too well. Now, Goon Kamui, on the other hand, like, it does it pretty well, especially with the part when, you know, it's mostly them, you know, going and hunting, hunting, you know, animals and speeding them in all different ways, especially with the, <laughs> the chit. Chitta, Chitta Tap or something like that. The, the fact that to... his name literally translates to boner. <laughs> oh wow! He got named Boner. Kid, and Tanagaki just calls him Boner. <laughs> What's up, Boner? What? <laughs> I love how Golden Kamui like ten percent of the anime is the actual plot. Like the other ninety percent is is like cooking and dick joke. <laughs> Man, I I I couldn't get I couldn't get enough of it. And then when they unite, and it's like, how'd you hold? How'd you been holding that fish cake for that long? What the hell? Like, Dude, I was so mad that I didn't stay to the end of the episode. The newest episode when, oh, that when Shirasi was... was dude, his head was sticking out the ass of a deer. <laughs> okay, okay, to be fair. To be fair, he was to be fair, he was kinda, you know, out of he was yeah. out and then, like when he finally comes to, you're just like, What the hell did I just come get myself into? <laughs> that was so funny. Like I was like I was like so mad that I didn't see that at the end. Like I yeah. didn't like, cause, like, cause usually Golden Kamui has nothing after the oh, after the ED. Like, it's always like every time I've stayed and watched until the end, it always has a preview. And it figures the one episode where I don't watch all the way through, there's freaking Shirashi sticking out the now, ass. Of the now, now you've learned your lesson because yeah, now I will never, one, ever, rule ever, one, ever, one, get... never <laughs> ever skip the ending. It's a rule, yeah. like. Even yeah, if you have to, yeah. like, look away during the... Like, usually like, I don't. To... Usually I don't. But with, like, Golden Kamui, like, every episode that I watch until the end, like, there, it's usually just a preview. But then the one Golden Kamui episode that I just, I skipped, yeah. I, I didn't make it all the way to the preview or whatever. I understand if you, like, look away during the preview, but yeah. you always have to stay to the end just in case there's a yep. bonus theme. I'll never yeah. do that again yeah. because then I'm yeah. going to miss out on, on something, like... Yeah. <laughs> But that um, was great, yeah. Right, but like, so, Golden Kamui is gonna get serious soon, like, because as they're heading to the prison oh, with like, I, a, yeah, oh, like, oh yeah, I, I'm actually feeling that it's gonna get serious right now. The, the, the vibe yeah. is there. I mean, the end of the newest episode was like pretty serious, you know, like that was like well, awesome. Well, like it was just seeing serious. Sugimoto break down like that. Like you don't see him usually do that ever. <laughs> yeah. For me, um, still, I just want to quickly say there's still three shows I want to get get to because uh go ahead man that i want to talk about so we still have to talk about that time i was reading kind of there's a slime oh we hell still yeah we need to talk about goblin slayer uh -huh. definitely and the one that i've been reacting to but i don't know if anyone else has actually been watching is uh ace attorney season two no ace has anyone else been wait, i wait, heard the it? first season was bad it? ace it wait. i'm watching it i like it Honestly, wait, I, wait, 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 I got it? a copyright strike from Ace Attorney, so I never watch it again. I did the oh, first I've, I've, I've never, <laughs> I've never really. It was watched. on the first episode of season one. I, I've, I, I, I've never watched it. Sorry, I, I, it's I because you know. guys are, are using um footage, right? You guys react using footage. Uh, did you, That's did you probably why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, yeah. I just, I just have like well, the subtitles, but yeah, I, I get what you mean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm I'm like one of the only ones who still uses footage because I don't I fuck it. I hate <laughs> I hate I'm using only subs. I'm using partial footage, like partially uh, obscure. I'm I'm just sticking I'm just sticking with the uh, three with one with only one quarter being shown, and I'm not planning to change it. Sorry, guys, I I don't want to risk it at this point. I just I got you I got you. Yeah, that's why I went back to subs. Um, because what, I'm okay, one here. more thing. One anyway. more thing. Uh, one more thing. Uh, one more thing before we jump into those two. I there's two more that I want to bring up that I don't think enough are talking about. There is one good and there's one horrible. Which one do I want to start with? Ooh. Horrible. Oh, the Actually, horrible. good because I want to hear the let's, horrible one next. Let's get juicy. Uh, get juicy we, shit. Can you can we uh talk about rewrite D Tokyo no Derider? I don't even know where that thing's trying to head to with the time. Uh, yeah, the I'm just keeping up with the dub. <laughs> the, I I don't even know what they're trying to aim for. Like this guy, he's in like he's 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 just a normal 
you know, uh, contribution to the DZ thing. All of a sudden, he's like, he he jumped. He he's like chronically from like, and then years past, he's jumped in, and then all of a sudden, he has this ability to you know do some sort of time, whatever it's called. I don't even know. I don't even remember what it's called. Uh, time uh jump, time leap, whatever it what is. What is this, JoJo? Uh, it's 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 a clusterfuck. <laughs> this <a> show is. <laughs> No, it's not. It's, like, it's even hard to explain. Like, <laughs> like when they try to get to the action scenes, the action scenes, everything was just like, man, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have any. I can't really like any of the characters. It's just like, you. I'm only watching this just out of curiosity of how it is. Like with these bad shows, like everything else is bad, but the pre- everything is pretty bad, but the premises is just like too interesting to not to not keep to at least not keep watching. At least for me, though. It's is it is yeah, just, it's that, hard it's just... for me to continue on with a lot of like I'd rather like like sometimes I like will try and stick through like a bad show or whatever but in like hopes of that it gets better but most of the time like if it's like two or three episodes in and I'm just like eh, not really feeling this I'll try to get to something on like my plan to watch that's <laughs> that's older and I I wanted uh... to get to for a while. There's okay then there's a good the good one but it's something it's just kind of. Uh, it's a really one of these short ones. It's only like uh, what? Uh, let me see the the. the Are you length talking of about this... Honda San? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The one right next to it. it it's an interesting. Oh. It's a. It's a kind of. Honda San is hilarious. I'm ca- oh, I, I, I I kind of want to check this out. It's so I, I, it's funny, not, dude. It's it's, it's 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 not it's not great, but it's freaking hilarious. Like, it's hilarious, yeah. And the, the... and it's kind of fitting for like this time of year, like with Halloween and everything too, because like. You have the main oh, character yeah. is like a skull, like he has a skull a head. A skeleton like, who works in yeah. a monk job. That's this is yeah. this, oh, that one. Oh, this okay. is this is Ein's an alternate universe or Ein's and Wendy's. <laughs> this is freaking... like this is like Ein's like brother who didn't succeed at being a lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, true, really true. <laughs> yeah, but it it's funny. It's really funny because he just encounters like so many different kinds of like otaku. <laughs> like oh yeah, that... <laughs> <laughs> like there was the, no. What yeah. about the one? BL got the one that was a uh, Fujiyoshi. I think it was the attack was that uh, that was you know attracted to the yaoi the yaoi stuff the Fujoshi. boys loved sort of thing. Fujoshi. Fujoshi the Fujoshi one. <laughs> oh my god, I, I don't really know. They, oh yeah, they were like the two gay guys that that came yeah. in and they were, yeah they were looking for like yaoi or whatever and. He was like freaking out because they barely had any yaoi, and then he was like, "Well, we can't." He was, but and oh, then he was like, "Well, we can't. Well, I can redirect you to the boys' love section." And there was like full of boys' love, and then they just like started like freaking out, and they rushed over to it because <laughs> <laughs> like boys' love is more like toned down than like yaoi. <laughs> and it is, it is like yeah. it is like one of those like nice pleasure pleasures that is not actually. It's a it's a pleasure. It's like one of those side stuff that you watch, and it's not bad because yeah. it, it's actually kind of it's st- it it bangs on the stereotype, but it's kind of accurate and like what it, what it was trying to what it's trying to feature. It's not great, but I it's like a lot of the enjoy. references it makes too. Like it made a yeah. reference to like Golden Kamui in the oh new yeah episode. yeah it did yeah, yeah it did. It, it, oh. like it makes it makes references to like Kingdom. Like it makes references to a lot of like series, which is kind of cool. Yes. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. Oh. There's one more thing. Uh. I don't know if we talked about index yet. We. We want to. Oh talk yeah. About I kind of. I want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh. All so. Right. Okay. So. What do you guys think about like this arc so far? I. I really think it's kind of too. Ru- it's. It's too rushed. It feels yeah. too rushed oh. to me. Yeah. But it's freaking. And, and, and it kind of hurts because I haven't like. Like I should like apparently know these characters from watching Railgun, but I haven't watched Railgun so. I, I have actually only watched like, Rail, I've, only I've actually Rail watched Rail. Railgun is so I don't any of it. The season two was of Railgun was really, really good. And the announcement for season three is what makes look makes me look forward to it. Cause I have not read the manga, but I've I I've, I've kinda, you know, looked on Wiki and just like, oh, because I wanted to get curious about I want to get curious about the two hour sort of, you know, universe. And uh, the best arc for I think one of the the, the my favorite parts of the railgun uh, storyline is gonna come up with the next with the upcoming season, which was regarding the festival arc where we actually get to see some epic shit from you know Thomas Imagine Break. Honestly, I kind of knew that railgun was gonna get a, was getting a third season because like season one took place before um, index season one. 
And then season yeah. two took place during, I think, I believe, yeah, I believe during Index season one. So that means wow. that most likely what's going to happen is Railgun season three is going to take place during Index two. Yeah, the the thing, okay, the thing is, uh, like, quiet. I, I, you've you watched both seasons of Railgun, right? Like, yep. don't you? Would you agree that it's way better than Index, especially the second season? Oh, man, I mean. Gee, I wouldn't. I, I, I'm not tough, sure if I would. I'm not it? sure if I would say that, but I I think both Index, um, Railgun have things that I enjoy. So oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. I wasn't sure. I, all I know is like Railgun season two. I think is like rated the highest out of all four of the the seasons. Like the Index and Railgun arc, combined. The sisters arc was played. The sisters arc was played very well in 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 Railgun, especially episode 14 that was like the best one of the best moments i've i've seen in anime like episode back to the 14, uh, yeah yeah episode 14 of railgun like the second season which one the, was the music uh, the music the emotions and everything in that it was just like it was yeah. per, it was perfect it just it, everything just kind of built up to that way and it and they did the toma versus accelerator uh fight the following episode real well too oh yeah. wait is, is episode 14 the one where like toma and um uh, misaka were talking on the bridge yeah oh yeah i remember that one that that was really oh good. they go even like more into that in railgun yeah i think yeah. so yeah quite, kind of. quite. That, i remember that, that briefly from index but i but, heard Rogan goes into like a lot more of like oh it was a, oh it was it was really deep in the you just see the emotions in it and that that and episode was like that episode was beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was beautiful. So like, so, so with this new arc of like, we're in an index right now. Like, I, I think you're about to say something, Kawhi, but like, I, I think that like from what I've heard, apparently the characters in Railgun season two like are here in, in yeah, index it's not season like, three. It's, it's not entirely comprised of um like characters from Railgun, but there is like yeah, like there only one group has characters from Railgun. And that's, that's item, the, right? Uh, yeah, it's I, I believe, yeah, group. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's what they call it. The, you know the that, group that with last, in it. Yeah, that yeah. last. You know that one, that one girl from the item that got captured. Yeah, I think she. I'm willing to say, like, even though I don't know, for sure, I'm thinking she's going to, she's going to die. I think. Ah oh, man, I really, I really hope not because I, I, I kind of like her. Oh well, I, I don't. Uh, I just don't have a good feeling yeah, about it. Cause... Yeah. Well. People, yeah. people told me though, like, like this, like I think uh, the battle royale arc, the arc we're in right now, is supposed to be like one of the better arcs of this season, and people are like really disappointed because they're kind of rushing it, which it kind of sucks. Kinda, well, to be honest, rush. it's a battle royale, and battle yeah. royale is, low, is usually a clusterfuck. Up. Yeah, I mean, there's just like so many groups and so many like <laughs> different characters to to keep up on, you know. So it's like, and it's kind of crazy now that I really think about it. We've went two episodes without any Toma or Index. Uh, that's 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 amazing. That <laughs> two is amazing. straight. That is yeah, interesting. Two episodes like that. I don't think that's ever happened <laughs> before. <laughs> in, hey, remember in... you you read the Reddit discussion threads, right? Uh, sometimes I do. Yeah. Yeah, you should um. You should read the red discussion threads for like this arc because like uh, I know one guy has posted a really helpful guy in the comments about who which which character belongs to what group. Yeah, I think I read that that actually. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I wish I had that because I'm just like wait, wait, who's the guy from again? Who's the guy from again? Of like, yeah, I, can, wait, wait, I totally I forgot that. about what's his name, uh, Unabara or whatever, because he like he was from like season one or whatever, and he like. I remember the only thing I really remembered about him was like he was hitting on Misaka, or like he had a thing for Misaka. Oh wow! Wait, yeah. wait. I mean, who wouldn't? Wait, he he was in this arc. Wait, what? Yeah, Unabara. Who who he has like the other like alter like he has like he goes by Etzali or whatever Etzali or some shit. Wait, uh, is, is he the guy with? No, wait, he isn't. The he's guy the guy with... who can transform into other people like through their skin or whatever. Wait a sec. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, oh, that's... oh! He's with, he, yeah, he's about. with Accelerator, Suchi Mikado, and that Nishijima. was the guy that was hitting. Oh, Osaka. yeah, okay. yeah, I, yeah. He was hit. Er, he, yeah, he's like the, um, I think he's like the director's grandson or something like that, or or something along those. Got him a tell now. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause when someone said that in my comments, they were like. Uh, Unabara was actually was first. We first saw him in season one because I remembered him from the end of season two, like briefly. 
But then people were telling me in my comments he's from season one. And then I was like, where is this like, where is he like? where would we have saw him in season one? And I remembered like that, that guy who was like hitting on Misaka and Toma yeah, was to like, fair, getting... he was only there for like one arc. Yeah, so. it was. Yeah. It wasn't like anything super significant. Yeah. Like at the time. But yeah, like there's, there's going that, to be which... there. I am like, as this, as disappointing as it was it rushed, I am looking forward to Famiya versus like, I, like I, I've told me, I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not usually a night novel reader, but I've heard about there's going to be a matchup between Toma and someone called Fama of the Right Hand, and it's, it's and, I, and I'm told it's going to be epic. And I know the, the next part is going to be Accelerator versus the, uh, that one guy. That is, yeah, that, I think it's, that guy's called, uh, Dark, I just called Dark Matter, I think. Yeah, the level two, uh, level, uh, the rank two, level five. Yeah, that's yeah, going to be I crazy. Think, I The think... number one versus the number two. <laughs> I think we're. I think we might see dark, uh, dark wings, uh, accelerator. I think because there was a because there was an visual. I think they showed in the opening. There was a visual. There was a sign there. It doesn't show him with wings, but it was just like uh, that. There's some. There, there's going to be a fight. I, I just hope they don't screw it up, though. I just really hope so. Wait, yeah, who's Excelerator going to be fighting? The uh, second rank level five Esper. Cockney. Is he the guy? Is he the guy who? Um... Is it like is it the is guy, it the, the guy, guy from school or no the guy that turned the guy that can we just got introduced to him literally in the newest episode the one that was... can ha the one that actually do the angel wings just blew that one professor oh him yeah yeah him yeah that that guy yeah it, like ex like they they made that like a big point with the opening like because the last like ten or fifteen seconds of the opening is like him and accelerator going at it yeah <laughs> I so... thought I thought those that angel wing thing was really cool so yeah i'm yeah i'm, in, I'm definitely interested. yeah but like just, that's just, what people are saying like like they're like they're saying oh it's rushed right now like they're rushing this part but they just hope that they get like the accelerator and in, in his fight down like good yeah. so we'll see uh okay so i think we. Uh, let's talk about there. slime we should talk about let's slime. talk about slime slime yeah. is very important that we talk about i yeah. am only on the third episode but still so far I have enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, Same. okay. As somebody who's taken a break from like Isekai or like Isekai harems, how like is this something that will change my mind? Yes. Or like, what? This is yes, not, because, it, it's yeah. not a harem. It's yeah, not it's a harem. Not, well, that I can tell from, from right now. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. it's not a harem. Paul, I don't think I don't oh. even think it's going to become one. Honestly, I I really don't think it will. It is but... not. It no. Trust me, it is not. I've been told so. Times yeah, in the servers I'm in, and I'm trust me, it's not going to be that. They're mentioning about that. Uh, I don't want. I don't really want to say. I I I do want to say like why that's not be the case, but I don't want to spoil too much for Ramen because he is still, still trying to catch up on it. And uh, yeah. it, I can, all I can say is don't expect harem thing. The harem thing. I mean, it, you could say you you could say there is some stuff that remind you of like. Uh, what harem series do but stuff, not yeah. that not that much not that much like there's little bits of fan service in it like that's really like it like, it's not even like like all i can say all i will say about the fan service thing is elves yeah elves. that's all i'm gonna elf say girls. yeah oh wait <laughs> elf elf. Girls. you, you know, know what okay. i really loved about that is they they animated the elves like old school like like old school uh elf anime girls anyone anyone like uh, it had the old school style to it that was kind of cool Anyone actually watch? Uh, what was that? What was that one? Uh, I I I've watched it not too long ago. Um, it was, I, it was called no. It was it was a really old series. It's called Record of Londos War. Record it's of a, Wars. Yeah, it's That's a ninety. Terrible. It's a nineties series. It and uh, it it's and it's, there's that elf called Deetlit. That uh, that is showcasing in the in that in that episode, Tenshi Slime. That reminded me of that character. That that reminded yeah. me of that character root a lot. Record of Lotus yeah, Wars so is like a magnum opus of like older shows. Like it's one of those things that like if you've seen Record of Lotus Wars, you're like, you're like you would be like a gra a grand sage in terms of like anime standards. <laughs> it's like that. Like you're like yeah. you, you're you're wise if you've seen Evangelion. No, you're like you're like up there if you've seen Record of Lotus Wars, the original. That thing is I, super old, I but it was like that. it had like. 
a huge cast too, like over like hu- like hundreds of people, all differently voiced. That's what it, like it was really well known for as well, because oh. like the voice acting talent. Well, not really talent. They would actually just get a bunch of random people, but it was e- everyone was voiced differently, and it was hundreds of people. Just kind oh, of, I, I, I was actually of... talking about the uh, the OVA ones. Like I didn't watch the alternative, the the, the sequel version of 1998. I was watching the. Uh, the one that started in 1990 and then 1991. But yeah, it's those kind of characters, though. So, were you going to say anything? The other thing I was going to say is that for Kriker's sake, Slime in this Rindu, he is so OP. He is hilarious of how OP he, he is. And, and, he, and the funny thing is that... Yeah, it explains Sorry. how he's OP in the very first episode. Like, and it explains, and it makes sense. Like, it's stupid how he got it, but it makes yeah. sense. It like it was like, yeah, oh, okay, that makes sense. sense. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and he, even he, isn't fully aware of how OP he is. Like, he is aware of it, but he doesn't know exactly how OP he is. Yeah, he doesn't know the extent of his of some of his yeah. abilities, some of his powers. Like, like he will, he will, he will attack something. And he goes, oh, I'm going to have to be easier next time. Again. <laughs> yeah. It would be like one like, punch, man. Like one punch from one punch, man. He's like, oh, they're already dead. <laughs> so far from what I've seen. From what I've seen, like he literally kills everything in one hit. He he, yeah, conduct, he conducts himself a lot of, of quite differently from what Ainz does, though. To be fair. Yeah, well, Ainz is like an anti-hero like hero kind of like kind of deal going on like because we all we all cheer we all cheer for eins but he's actually doing some really fucked up shit yeah i think he's sometimes we cheer for the villain that's basically what (laughs) he's been a villain by now the The other thing i was going to say say about slime is that as of the latest last episode and again i'm not going to spoil too much but best girl was introduced yeah i agree oh is it the black hair girl i love shizu I, I his best girl already. I'm not gonna playing. lie. When I first saw that black hair girl, I, I, that's the moment I actually consider watching the show. Dude, you have to watch you, it. You I'm need telling you, to yeah. watch. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait, wait. You it's the girl need with the to mask, watch it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's. Yeah. She, uh, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure she's waifu material from the very beginning, and she's introduced. Like, yeah. well, granted, she's she's in the intro, but I'm assuming yeah. that. She's in the... Yeah, I'm assuming that's who was also yeah. the very first episode. Okay. The beginning. So. We talking about how she is. She is best. Like I, I, I do want to talk about the lighthearted stuff that would happen in the episode. But I do want to talk about something that I am worrying about, and I think my my worst, my my fear of it of this might come to fruition. Yeah. That you have That's to think. That's going to get dark. That's that slime's going to get dark all of a sudden. No, 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 no. Be... It's not that. It's regarding she's herself. She was harboring. She was harboring a, The fact that she was summoned. From back there, like back in when World War Two was drawing to its was drawing to its end, you have to think like she's at least 50, spent fifty years in this world, like trapped it's with a been, de- trapped been, with a fury spirit inside of her, and you'd have to. It's been established that it's been three hundred years. Oh yeah. Oh okay. But uh, but still, it's, she's been alive for three hundred years in this world. So yeah. Well, okay. And how well, does actually, she know about games? Actually, I don't know. Actually, Again, I, actually, oh I don't know. actually, I don't know. Did anyone? Actually, I don't. Actually, did I don't anyone watch that. the episode? Sorry, did anyone actually watch the episode and was actually paying attention? Because I've seen. Wasn't it a Monster this. Hunter reference? Oh no 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 no! no, no, no. no, no. For, they did bring this up. It was mentioned, and everyone seems to have overlooked it. In like for some reason, I mean, she even she even says it herself. Yeah. She found another adventurer from mm-hmm. Japan who mentioned it. Yeah. yeah. That's so she, that's video games. Saying. Yeah, yeah. That's so she heard of it. Everyone yeah. seems to have okay. Yeah, she's heard of it. Everyone seems to have missed that point. Yeah. And I don't know how everyone missed it because it was right there. Like she right. actually outright tells us that she was. She yeah. She, she did. She doesn't actually games. know. She just she she just heard. She doesn't, she doesn't know about video games. She hasn't seen played video games, but she, she just heard about it. Okay. I think yeah. I think the reason they're they might be fretting as well is because like. Wait, if she if she heard it from someone else, why is she not? It's like did something happen? I'm like, but I'm guessing like there is complications to where she was that to why she was on her own. Like because I've mentioned, I think I've mentioned it that we haven't really talked about like the fact that she's been there for quite some time. I don't think she's been there for over three hundred years. I'm actually being told 
that it was someone else that sealed that sealed Vandor sealed Vandora back then. But I don't well, know. Well we do see at it. the beginning, like I do, when we, that we little girl when when that little girl is like it, it um fire. Yeah, yeah. Before that, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was like some kind of other attack that was used that w like it wasn't a fiery kind of attack. It was like a like it, it was like these blue yeah. kind of like sparks or like blue flames or yeah. something like that that I like it was like very like sudden. Like it wasn't like it was maybe a few seconds where you can actually see it. But that was that was something that I noticed as well that you know there could be another like hero or whatever whatever they're called. Um yeah. But something that, like, that like I'm wondering about is like, um, like how many other people are we gonna come across that? Well, I know there's other people in the opening that we see, but like, are are we gonna come across anybody else who is like has been reincarnated or is Remu just like the only lone one that has been re reincarnated? Because I don't like I'm not we know that I'm there's not... been attempts for others to be summoned, and there probably are others who have been summoned, you know. Oh, um, again, I don't want again because Ramen hasn't. Yeah, yeah, we, I don't yeah. Want to spoil too much. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I'll probably just catch yeah. up. I mean, I, I, I'm yeah. watching the dub of it because I'm watching it with my roommates. Um, uh, the dub's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's okay. Just, <laughs> I mean, it's not. Well, Please don't watch it. I'm just. Saying, I haven't just saying, like, compared it. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I am worrying because, like, Chisu has this, has been living with a. Uh, like a fear with with a spirit inside of her, and you'd have to think because of the burden of it, because of the it's of its element. Well, how how long? I don't. I I have a bad feeling. Like I don't want it realized, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. There's the a chance is, that she. There's, there's a chance that we're not gonna ha see her for that long. That's the that's the fear that's I'm the, having. Right uh, now. I have, I brought this. I just kind of brought this up in my last reaction. But the thing is, you have to remember, is that, again. Rindu is flipping OP. As soon as he finds out whatever it is she's hiding from him, he will probably find a way to extract it. Probably extract the flipping fire demon as, as well and completely and utterly destroy it and be like, yep, problem solved, you're fine. Yeah, I mean, but but we don't, yeah, I mean, that would be the plan, but we don't know for sure if that's going to play out. But I mean, we don't even know when we're going to see Veldora again. Because they're still trying to figure that yeah, exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure. It was... look, all the adventures, like, where did Vidura go? It's like, maybe we should ask this talking slime. He seems to know. <laughs> that's about what, it. that's what's so awesome about it. Because <laughs> it's like you you come to like this village and there's just this slime like at the head of all these like <laughs> creatures. Oh, like, gold yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> you're led by a slime. Like that. Like, that's like everybody's first reaction of Rimu is just like, oh, it's a slime. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but really, like, it's just like the most badass OP character ever. Like, don't fuck with R Rimu. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, sli slime, slime is great. Slime is up slime there is with great. Bunny Girl. Yeah, like, I, 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 I would actually say that. I yeah, would actually... it, it's. I would. Okay. For me, top three for this season so far in order would be, probably be Bunny Girl Senpai, Slime, and Goblin Slayer. For me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, if we're so, if we're not counting sequels, I I would that would probably be around my top three too. Actually, like if we weren't including sequels. Uh, okay. So but, let's. But like about... uh, yeah, yeah, I, I would See, I would agree with that. Speaking of other goblins, we should get on to Goblin Slayer. Goblin yeah, Slayer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would uh, actually be the one we've all watched. Yeah, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think there, is a, there is a there is a war going on between about <laughs> elf girl and cow elf girl and cow girl. I'm just actually yeah, actually, actually the, this the is war is elf opinion. girl and priestess girl. Oh, priestess. okay. Yeah, I'm popular opinion. Okay. Priestess girl best. Oh no no man! You get the I fuck out of here! I, I'm you rolling get the with fuck elf girl. I'm rolling with elf girl. I see you're a man of culture as well. I just, I just find her really adorable. I don't know. I'm She's sorry, nice. but for me, cowgirl is best girl. I'm, I'm just on both. I, I just personally like Elf Girl better, but I'm just like, you know what? I respect both sides like of the world. Girl, both sides of the, both sides of the world. Priestess is just really adorable. Like I know people say like Elf Girl's adorable, but I think Priestess, or Priestess, is, 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 is cuter. It makes me wonder uh, how this new girl fine. is going to be for us that we saw oh, at the end sword of the maiden? new I've, yeah, oh, the yeah. sword I've maiden. seen images Have of her. I've already. I've already heard She's comments saying that best girl is coming. You're like, okay, is it, so this priestess is going to be best girl, really? Here's the thing. 
Whenever someone says there's a new best girl, I have to double down because I feel like I have to be. <laughs> to you have down. to, you I have am to loyal, judge. I am a loyal person. The moment in the second episode, the moment I saw Elf Girl, just just a brief glimpse of her, I said, "Best girl." Yeah, and, I, yep. and I have yeah, said, you did, you did. "I have said, I said emotion. <laughs> I can't go back. I can't." I think go the back. only. Yeah, the, okay. that's the same for me. Like the only chance I could, I want to see how the sword maiden girl is because I'm just, I'm just biased towards long hero girls they, because my they, second best admit. girl is that is that purple magician, purple magician girl. See, okay, no, oh, I, I, I will say this: that. she reminds me of Blair from Soul Eater. Like, honest to God, except without the personality, she like looks wise and the boobs and the boobs. <laughs> And yes, like I was like, this is a reskin of Blair, just with a slightly more like cool, calm, collect personality outside of the you know, hold on, let me go naked and jump on you. <laughs> Which I mean, I would. Something I, I did want to bring up. Magician. Something I did want to bring up. Pause, man. There's one other thing I wanted to bring up as well, but I'll let you go. Yeah, I was gonna say like Crunchyroll released like their like number one like or like how the shows like are watched in the oh, state yes, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, every it's single state <laughs> i have never seen that the entire wait wait wait, 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 wait link that to me every single state in the united states the number one wait, number one watched that. anime was goblins <laughs> so they, like they like wait link i'm not even kidding link, like, you, like you would see the picture goblin of the united states and goblin like, has see... officially flighted that's the thing <laughs> I'm about to link you it, but yeah. It, yeah I was like, link no, that to me. I didn't think that was possible. Just place it in the chat. Just place it in the chat. Like, normally, yeah, the thing that I was trying to bring up, though, is because. It's crazy. <laughs> One thing I'm actually kind of scared Oh of. my god, you're not lying. <laughs> Holy like, oh my thing. god. I Not one state had didn't have Goblin Slayer as the number one watched. <laughs> oh my god, it's literally covering the United States. Oh, it's covering the entire United States. I see United you're a country of United culture United as well. <laughs> we all we all love Goblin. Race. The U.S. isn't that culture. bad. <laughs> the nation. I see that was a nation of culture. Just, just <laughs> all right. By the end of this There's season, they're gonna that... take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> one thing. I'm, I'm honestly a bit concerned about, and well, a bit worried, a bit concerned about, because again, I haven't read later on, I haven't read, I've only read the first three chapters of the manga of Golden Slayer, and I wanted to get your thoughts on this. So, I'm honestly concerned, because of the way we know that Golden Slayer, well, the series Golden Slayer is life, like we've got, it's apparently like 80% rate. Um, the thing I'm worried about, I'm actually scared for uh, Cowgirl. Because I have a feeling later on, down the road, something's going to happen to her. Yeah, I feel That's like if, if any if anything was to happen to any of the characters like closest to Goblin Slayer, it would be her. Well, I don't Honestly. see. Well, I don't see her on the post. Well, I don't see her on the poster. So yeah, you could see a death flag. She's going to die. I, Which I, don't know, I really hope like... not. I really don't want to see that. I, but... I, don't, I don't know. She seems like such a side character that it wouldn't happen. Like to be honest, I think if anything were to happen, I think something would happen because of a shock value, because this show is has been known to go for a shock value, i.e. episode one. Um I think that would throw us for a loop and kill off a main character. I think if uh, like any of the main cast were to get killed, I think it would be Priestess Girl. I think they would honestly throw yeah. us for a loop. I honestly think they would uh, just say it ain't so I, no, no, no. I'm not saying I would be for it. I think that if they were to do it, it would be, like, in a brutal way where, like, everyone's, like, getting, like, like destroyed and someone were to die. I think it would be Priestess Girl, and she might be, like... I think she would sacrifice herself. Like, if that, just in terms, Roman, like, if they were to kill someone off. That's how I would envision it. Roman refuses. If that happens, I'm taking away your ramen. Oh, I, I, no, 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 <laughs> I'm no, 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 I am predicting. I'm using my Asian persuasion right now and looking into you're, the you're Asian persuasion. Persuasion. I feel like they might pull you're something. Asian. I feel like they could pull something where like Goblin Slayer like returns home and she's not there or she's dead or something. Like I could seriously see them pulling something like that. They could actually do that. They could. Yeah. But like even with the preparations that like Goblin Slayer like makes to make sure like goblins don't, don't come to you know his home or anything like that, I still feel like they could maybe pull like, something like that. I see it happening is that. If they do do something with Cowgirl, she she will survive it. She will actually survive it because Goblin Slayer will probably go 
like go completely ape shit. <laughs> go ape shit. <laughs> uh, well, I think I think even he, he, even he will. I think it is would he be really like gonna go a uh, situation where like she would get kidnapped, raped, but like kept alive, and she would just be like taken out of the picture as she's like recuperating. Like she, he'll come and save her. And she'll be taken out of the picture. Like, go into one of the priories, I think, that are, are, are like, one of the uh, churches. And Would Goblin Slayer really go apeshit, though? Because, like, yeah, they, they're they kind of, like, childhood friends. But I we haven't seen be, that much chemistry. Be the only one we haven't seen that much chemistry. For I think he honestly would go go crazy. Because I re- because they, that's the thing. They are they work with friends. Because yeah. the fact that she knows, what, everyone knows what happens and all that with his family mm-hmm. like he's got he's like she's the only connection he has to that history so if she if something happens to her then that part of history is wiped out for goblin slayer and then yeah, um, yeah. although i don't uh, know how they would do it i think like no one just judging by his personality i think he would be like a silent it would be a silent like rage, blood rage. Like he wouldn't say anything yeah. to anyone. He would just go in and like, he would just ignore. Oh, everyone. goblins did this. Yeah, y'all did. Yeah, he wouldn't like. He wouldn't be like, be like, I'm gonna kill him. I don't know. He's like, he's just gonna just walk out and just go and like nothing's gonna stop him. Like he's not gonna say anything to anyone. Like people are like gonna be like calling out to him. Yeah. Or, like maybe priest girls oh, are like, yeah. trying to grab onto him. Like you need to stop. And he's just gonna keep on going. He's not gonna be like hate- screaming or anything. It. That's how I would imagine, like him in a rage. Just when, seeding rage. Just, ra- just yeah. seeding rage. I'm just ho- I'm if that. I just hope that that actually doesn't happen. Like, I don't. I don't really want any of the girls to die. To be no one. Well, honestly, right. just I, could, I have a feeling someone's gonna die. Like, I reckon we'll be. Yeah, I'll be another. I'll hope we know the girls die, but oh, yeah. I mean, like, I wouldn't want anyone to die. Yeah. Like, I just yeah. have a feeling one of them is going to die. Yeah, we're yeah we're just Probably. saying if if it was yeah, to happen. Yeah, like yeah, that. I guess it yeah, would either yeah. be the cowgirl or like I would agree with Raman saying the priestess. Okay. It'd be one of one of those two. Yeah, okay, but, so... I, I don't see the yeah. high elf girl, the high elf archer, or whatever. I don't see her getting killed. I think she would get like really like beat up or something, or maybe raped. I don't know. Uh, I hope not because if anyone touches her, no, she, you're, you're yeah. Gonna, I'll um, literally yeah. I will be I seething. Would, I would I just be seething. I would have just but. Okay, so, okay, this yeah, is related, like, so this whole ongoing thing with the Calgary and F girl. Okay, so there was this one uh, reaction channel, but they do, they actually do their reactions on Twitch and they just kind of edit stuff, edit stuff in. That's why they're able to show some sort of sounds and displayed pics, but they kind of oh. edit it and edit it in some points. I think it's called, uh, their, their channel is Jonan's Comedic Adventures and they were, and it was on this uh, episode six of Tenshi Slam. They were, they, for the most part, they were arguing about. Okay, I'm just gonna put the link to that video, and uh, it's kind of hilarious the way it turned out. They were just talking about Pop Tart and Tolstoy Strudel, and uh, needs to say, it, it was mostly them. the The reaction was mostly them talking about <laughs> arguing about the uh, you know, oh, you're you're, you're lost. Out like that and it's just like it just went back and forth and you're not really paying attention to the day speaking of live reactions that was i've seen it. some motherfuckers reacting to goblin slayer they literally show like full footage and audio like some of it is like somewhat transparent, but they still show like footage and audio Look, at, and, and looking, at you, looking at you etika and it's stupid like if i were to do the exact same thing exact okay. same fucking thing i would get striked or copyright block. So what what makes these motherfuckers special? I, 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 well, because it's Etika. Because it's Etika. It's well, okay, but no, I, honestly, I think it's because so so, so popularity. I think it's because the the channel is well known. For example, like if you're a well known channel like Gigguk or Glass Reflection, I think YouTube has this algorithm set so like oh this guy is well known. He has been known to like fight these copyright battles and win. Um, because most of the time, like like honestly, if you were to fight your copyright claim, you would win it. Because, like, but if you were to go the full distance, you would win it. And I'm pretty sure these channels have done that already. And, and all that jazz. Oh, memories, you gotta go. That's per- that's cool. We're about to wrap up the uh, thing anyway. Uh, yeah, then... this, that is, that's gonna be pretty much it. Although, um, well, there's, there's other stuff I did want to talk 
I, did I mean, I don't. I mean, I I wasn't sure if popularity would play a role because like I know Anime Central. He has like like almost I think what thirty three thousand four thousand subs. I can't even count how many the amount of times his channel has been taken down by copyright bullshit. Like, wait, which one? Wait, which one? Anime Who Central. is it? And Anime Central. Oh. Like so, he's been around since like what twenty twelve or something like that. Okay. Like so, uh, mm-hmm. unfortunately, okay. So there is one more uh, show that I do want to talk about. I I I did wish Memories did stick around. It's called Iozuku Sekai no Ashita Kara, and it's by PA Works, an anime original, thirteen episodes, and it's focusing on a girl that can that cannot see colors. She is that back to. She is at back. Okay. She's from a futuristic thing. She she's at back 2018 to where her sev- to where her seven the 70 year old version of her grandmother. But before she I've heard of this one, I have heard of this. Yeah, it's a it, it, the thing is I've been told because like the same uh, student that did uh, Alol in the Sea or mm-hmm. Nagano Asukara, and so far um I don't really know what to say about this series. Like it, it is beautiful. To be honest, like in terms of the animation and and, but there's there's a lot of stuff that I really can't help but point out. Is just like I don't really feel uh, good about. It. It's just like doing the openings and all that. I just like there's just it, it's something I just really just kind of bugs me. To where the to where it was going with the op and all of a sudden it starts to the 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 opening just starts to fade away in terms of audio. I'm just like. That is just really weird. Why would they do? Why would they do that? Wouldn't they just show? What's the problem with like showing, like just displaying the whole opening uh, vocals entirely? Why does it just have to fade out? Like, and the thing is, with the actual uh, storytelling so far, it's not quite exciting to be on. Uh, to be honest, like it just. I know that I know it's maybe as far as start, like maybe how Violet Evergarden went. But in terms of, you know, like trying to make an impression in terms of, you know, what the, the story is, like what, like the fact that you're trying to develop something, it just doesn't feel like a whole, a whole lot is progressing so far. It's just, it's just, he told me just basically fitting into the group and then her, you know, Kohaku, her, the 17 year old, the, well, 17 years old, like before she became a grandma. And then like, that's just kind of fitting in, just kind of helping him because, you know, her personality is like the opposite of her of her granddaughter, and then but there is there is one thing that I do want to work about. Like, have any of you guys like are really reacting to it right now, or is it just or is it just me? Uh, I didn't. I'm not watching it right now. <laughs> oh, you guys are not watching it right now? No. Nope. Oh damn! Because yeah. I I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm reacting to it, but the story the the story is just like it doesn't like. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like enough to make me really feel like I have to be most emo- emotionally invested. Like maybe it's gonna get down to a serious point to where because she was put back into the into the past, is there is, is she gonna be staying there once she once she regains her some or somehow get, regains her ability to color to understand some sort of emotions, or is she gonna have to go back and you know have to have to you know literally like. Uh, leave the friends that she made right there it's it's something that i really felt that uh i just really felt that could be a big a big uh point in the story but the thing is how are they going to the progression to it like is it going to be good enough for that that's what i'm kind of you know concerned about because it hasn't done really anything for me that i consider eye opening and except besides the you know the animation work because if any of you saw the preview, I don't know if you guys saw the preview trailer, like the animation quality of that is pretty good. I mean, I can't say it's on the level of most Kyo Andy stuff. I can't say it's something like, uh, like it, it's not, is it, I can't say it's on the level of, you know, most Kyo stuff like Valley Garden, Sound Euphorium, or, or even in a, a silent voice, but it, it's, it's really, it's really charisma, especially with the display of colors. So, yeah, it's just one of those series that it looks good uh, visually, but everything else is just needing. It's just wanting. Point. That's what I was concerned about. So that was the one I was going to discuss. Uh, even though, unfortunately, I think I'm the only one is really reacting to it at this point. 
Yeah, I it's, mean, I'm I'm not even trying uh, to react to a lot of stuff. I, in all honesty, I wasn't planning on reacting to anything. But then Goblin Slayer came into my interest, and then I decided to you know watch uh, Juliet and yeah. um, and but and, and I was you know watching Bunny Senpai and reacting to it. But you know how that song and dance goes because it got already taken down, assholes. And the same thing with Slime. Fuck you, Japan. Uh, I mean, I love you, but... At least you could still watch that your own time. I mean, I could. I mean, I'm thinking about just, like, re-uploading it, because I really... I I don't know. It feels like with Bunny Senpai, I feel like I would be doing myself a disservice by reacting to it, simply because I have a craving to, like, still be entertaining, but at the same time with Bunny Senpai, I feel like I need to just sit down and just completely absorb it, because the, the amount of depth in that show, from just from the first episode, I feel like I need to just sit down and just completely take it in yeah so it's like i want to react to it but at the same time i feel like if i react to it i'm going to miss things so it's one of those things like i can react to it and then rewatch it but then what's the point i don't know i'm, I'm kind of at an impasse i'll see what happens uh but yeah, yeah. but i think that's yeah it's not be... it's not a really easy series to react to, to be yeah, honest, if you want to try to cap yeah, it was actually hard to react oh, to it I, 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 was like, I, I came up with like yeah. i had like this idea of, like to say something but then, like, there was something happening, and then I lost my train of thought. And then I tried bringing it back, uh, bringing it up again, and then another thing happened. I'm like, oh, shit, now i got to, like, pay attention. Yeah, And then yeah. it was, like, it was hard to, like, bring up a lot of points that I was talking about because so much stuff was getting talked about. Were you going to mention something, uh, Smiley? Yeah, my bad. Uh, I was just saying that I've managed to react to it just fine. Like, I've gotten into the ha- habit of actually like being able to both talk and think like think uh what what like reading the th- what's in uh the subtitles in my head so i've managed to like do it like two things at once yeah reactions for me to this show so far so good. yeah i think it's more of like my, the way my brain works so like my my brain works at a million miles a minute um and it, it for me it's a little bit hard it's one of those things like i need to sit down and focus on otherwise like for example yeah because like, when you're best... reacting it's really it's really easy to just like you want to talk about something, but then you might you might, you're gonna end up like yeah, might miss something. The same like, thing happened the, with, like, I've, 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 with, like in Goblin Slayer, where like I was talking about something and I totally missed a point, and people were like, "Yo, they said it in the episode. Why don't you pay attention?" I'm like, "Sorry." <laughs> that's <laughs> one of the yeah, like... that, It's one of the biggest challenges of being like doing live reaction. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, and here and here's the thing. Like, there will be something I'll be start talking about thing, and then all of a sudden, wait stop right there and then just like then i was about to say something again and then bam and then bam and then rinse and repeat like it's just like wow it's just like i'm just kind of this is the point where and when i do finally get it off i do tend to overlook overlook some stuff but it's not like i i, I don't have my eyes on the screen it's just that when i'm talk, when i'm like saying something i'm trying to make a point i just when it's when then trying to focus on what's going on there i, I can't do two things at once once i mean i'm not one of those i'm probably not one of those unless if there's people that can easily do that which i doubt there's a lot of them but i'm not i mean one of those people. i mean usually if i have if i have like something i want to say but i can't say it because i gotta pay attention i just wait until the ed starts playing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah like i get what i get where ramen is coming from though because i think i had the same problem when with uh, fate zero because oh I yeah, like, I could not react. I would not be able to react to Fate Zero. In all honesty, I would be too engrossed. Because yeah, yeah. I like those points in which I had to do this shut up and just listen to what was being said. Yeah. Otherwise, I was going to miss something very important. But I would still commentate on like the battles or um, exactly like I was still trying to commentate on what was being said at some point. At, in, at, yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing with the with the Fate series in general. It's like there's just so much that goes into like story. Like all the all these things, like all this terminology you need to know. So and the, yeah. and the faith fans are gonna just jump on. <laughs> yeah. That's that's, jump that's on your yeah. Jump on yeah. I'm just like I'm just like calm down. We we not we we it's not like we can do two, two stuff at once. Like you want us to say something, but you, but at the same time, if we try to say something, we're gonna miss something else. Yeah, it's Same. one of those. You, yeah, luck- you're not gonna be able to please both sides. Yeah. yeah, luckily the viewers on my channel, they're they're pretty chill when I do that, but yeah, I except, can see where you're coming. Except for your viewers, like, oh my god, where's the sound? Where can I find the first season? Like, uh, oh my god. Like, I, had, I, I had one motherfucker that asked, asked me, 
They asked me like, where can where can I watch the third season of Index? And I'm like, dude, it's almost 2019. How do you not know about streaming sites by now? We have um, technology. I, okay, I've got I've gotten a really really uh, mean the comment just saying just it was like one one of the, I don't I forgot which one it was on, and the dude was just like, all I can see is all I can see is just, all I can see is you and your big old head. I'm just, big old head. I'm just like, <laughs> bro, really? I'm just like. Wow, really? Your big dumb face. Like, I'm just like, uh, bro, uh, there's nothing that I can really do about how big my head might look to you. It's just the way it, the, the camera's angled. Like, I, it's not, I can't do... do I want to see the anime, action. not your big dumb face on the screen. You, you yeah. should see some yeah. of the comments that people posted about me. I was um, hosted in, I think, one of the first... The first episode of Goblin Slayer and uh, one of the reaction compilations. And the a few people were ripping in me like, oh my god, that guy in the middle, he's so annoying. I'm like, I'm sorry for not sitting there and doing saying absolutely nothing the entire time. I, I do apologize for not I just sitting mind. there and just like smiling every couple seconds and then not saying anything. Yeah, just yeah, just like you, you, and I'm and I'm just saying like where you read it, like, do you not see the title called reaction? Do you reaction, not know the yeah. fact? Do they? Are you not? Are you, not, to have like, commentary. Aware, yeah. are you not aware of the fact that if I was to display it fully and then it was just like, oh, but other people do it. That's, like, no, but it's because, the it's because they, they are, they're either lucky as hell or they're just doing it in a way that doesn't get up caught. But it's, some, it's a way that I don't want to do it because they do the editing stuff. I just want to do it from front to back. And, yeah. you know, YouTube, I, I, and there's a theory that youtube can be biased with some stuff like the, you oh, can YouTube's get caught yeah. yeah that's been that's oh. they proved that so long ago but yeah all right i think this might be mm. a good place to end it it's at we're at about almost two hours and 15 minutes of the actual podcast <laughs> yeah. memory's Woo! already left so i will say his uh bye on his behalf uh but wait hold on is this longer than the than the last podcast i, I it might be yeah i think it's it I might be almost three hours, I think. Maybe a little, maybe no, a little longer well, I mean, than that. Since we've been in the call, but I mean, just this podcast has been only about two, a little over two hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, but memory had to but, leave. He had to go do something with his family, so that's perfectly fine. So I will say bye on his behalf. Uh, but I want to thank Ryusei Reacts as well, Oliver Smiley, Kawaii Crew, and of course Memory for joining us on another podcast. We will be back. I would like to hope, I would like to do it by the end of fall season. Um, and if possible, I might be able to live stream this, uh, the next one. And I, I might have to be able to oh, sell oh, so oh, if, if we can set, if we can set up, if we could set up a video call, that would be. Well, I mean, yeah, I, it, it would just be like how it would be on Discord, and it would have our pictures. But um, I would have it set up so it would just be just, uh, just our pictures, and then us highlighting whenever we talk. And then I would have oh, okay. like chat in the program. I, I could do it. I think it's, if you were, I think if you were live streaming, you could like do it like usual and just put like a picture or like, yeah, like I, all I, over yeah. the screen, and I, then I our audio in the it. background. Yeah, I know how to do it. I, I, I live stream a good amount. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so um. Hope we might be able to do that next time. We'll see what happens, and then it will be able to do a Q and A at a live Q and A with people, and the chat will be on the screen as well, so I can have that set up. Okay. So who knows? Maybe we can do That'd that. That'd be sweet. Ooh. We'll talk about that next That'd time. That'd be sweet, man. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Good. I'm gonna let everyone do their outro. This is Roman from Roman Reviews here with another episode of Weebs of the Roundtable. I don't know what episode this is. To be honest, I think this is like <laughs> what, seven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe. Uh, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I'm looking at my videos right now. Thank you. Copyright Hold strike on. against that. Um, yeah, let's check that. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, episode 8. We're on episode 8. Wait, uh, really? Yeah. No, episode no, wait. Eight. Hold on. I think you... I'm looking at it right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I think, <laughs> I, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys think of the podcast. What are your guys' thoughts on fall, uh, fall 2018? What are some shows that you think that we should watch or, or people should watch that we just haven't talked about? I know we didn't talk about Juliet, but, I mean, there's not really too much to talk about. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to let everyone do their outros, and I will see you guys next time. Whoever wants to jump in. Uh, I'm the Kawaii Crew. Um, hope you have a hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this po podcast. I'm gonna do the outro I did for I usually do for my live reactions. <clears throat> Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Uh, what's? Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Thanks for 
Thanks, thanks for letting you come coming in today, and uh, hopefully we'll be, see you guys next time. So until then, uh, we'll see you out. So later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not really good for the outro thing, but you know what? <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. And I'm Oliver from Smiley Reacts. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right.